All right, it's time to run it back. Same basic idea as yesterday, except we're not gonna get top eight. We're gonna win this time, right? <laughs> a little bit smaller with tournaments. Uh, not not quite 300 people like yesterday, but still gonna be fairly big, fairly good size. So gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, same wiggly tough control list from the last couple of streams. Just took up the, the second forest seal stone and added in the second wiggly tough ex because we prized it so much. So, yes. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited because I feel like we we learned more about the deck yesterday and kind of how it interacts with the meta. Also did pretty well, so hopefully can play just a little bit better. Maybe hit some a little bit better matchups and. Have a have a deeper run today but yes this is this is uh exciting <laughs> we have been scammed if it was uh supposed to start at 30 after and it's 31 so very disappointing thank you robin i'm kind of surprised to see you up this late like bros usually uh it's definitely uh past the usual robin bedtime but Nice to have you, Robin. Yeah, we we definitely are uh, getting scammed, but that's okay. You're bad for your own no problem. I, uh, I was like kind of confused. So, <laughs> I was more like, I wasn't upset at all. I was just confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure I remembered to put it in the description, but I'm not so sure now. All right, we're not no a gatekeeping list around here. Just uh, just a control gaming, maybe. The tournament organizer might have fallen asleep. Yeah, it is a few minutes after. Not that we're keeping track. It's okay. What's up, Casey? So I guess everyone time to get to get in here. So by the time we're actually gaming, um, we'll have a nice little group, group people built up here, right? <laughs> it was all coordinated. Um, yes. Oh, yes. I'm excited though. I'm. I'm, th I'm thinking that this deck might like at least control might be the might be a re re real play for uh upcoming tournaments but we'll see we'll see raging no come on this is the same list from yesterday we got bounced in top four by this yesterday or top eight yesterday and the 60 got net decked oh man how many of them uh, there's probably a lot of people who like net deck that because i think the first really successful raging bolt how many are there there are only four Rip. It would be pretty cool to go to Puerto Rico. Um, I'm pretty sure someone posted in the Discord. It was like early May, but I can't remember. I I agree. The uh, Sandy Shock seems kind of under. Like not Sandy Shocks, but just like thought of Sandy Shocks. That's it. Seems kind of underpowered. Um, but I'm. I mean, yeah, I was playing the the Palky on stream, and I felt pretty solid. Arc Drago Vulpix. Oh man, that's that sounds like an arc pile. Right, well, hopefully, I draw just a little bit better than I did last last night in top eights. Um, and also, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not price sisters like we did game one. Only win cons no show. Definitely could win if their deck did not work. Any changes? Uh, just minus four is seal stone plus second wiggly tough. Now, I, I didn't realize how important wiggly tough was in a lot of matchups until yesterday when it felt really bad to not have a, a lot of the time. So do have to sacrifice a little consistency, but also do um, you gain a little more power out of the deck. So it's it's fine. Am I seeing me at NASC this year? Uh, hopefully. Any Dialga players in chats? 
Oh man, Dialga looks so fun, but I'm I'm sure it's probably terrible, but it looks so fun. Alright, we could I think we wanna go second. Like I just don't wanna get rolled by like a turn one. Because they definitely have the capacity to start hitting turn one. Um uh, This kinda sucks. I guess I open to you because like I I only have the one Pidgey, right? Like if we all if we find any ball search card or Arvin or anything, this hand goes from mid to crazy good. Opening Sandy Shocks isn't great for them. I guess we can cape the Chi Yu and that would be awkward for them to get through early on. Attach. They just passed. Okay, not a quick start for them. So I lean off the top. That is not helpful. Alright. It's okay. Uh, we're just one top tick away from this hand going from garbage to crazy good. <laughs> they do avenge the ninja. Uh, yeah, there's generally two two. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> like, what does it actually beat, though? Like, the stuff you can do is fun and cool, right? But, does it actually, like, beat, like, Zard? Or, like, it probably is okay into Chimpao. Maybe. I said if you like, Evo and stuff, that'd be pretty good. But, I don't know how you'd beat Zard or Lugi or a lot, like, Stall, like, any of the top decks. It seems like a very fun deck. Like, it's... Definitely top five fun deck in format. They're kind of slow rolling me a little bit, so that's. All right, we'll Riz to try to slow them down. I guess that could give them Greninja fodder, but also means they're farther away from like attached retreats. This thing isn't fun. That's a that, that's an alright take. I could kind of see farming future but like what if they just don't hit any of your like if they can if they can just go boss 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 i mean i guess you do have chronos for a floor price turn the, the zombies end does seem really good oh my goodness we're just gonna get rolled here oh wow that was a gift so they spend the prime to get out of okay now we're gaming kind of imagine they do all this and then just whiff Favorite Scarlet and Violet are a set that's not the newest one. Oh, they've been the... The Slither Wings. Now if we get rid of the Super Odd, that's M M Mimikyu wins. Okay. I don't know. What would my favorite one be? Like, I guess in terms of competitive impact, probably Paradox Rift. Also because of all the other crazy stuff that happened and made people upset. That was pretty funny. Um... I do want to try that Banette list. I was playing it before stream yesterday and it felt so fun and it was really good. It was giving me a massive headache and I'm like, I am not playing Banette with this few reps with it. So I decided it wasn't the smartest business decision. So we didn't do it, but it seemed like a ton of fun. Banette stream could be on the horizon. <laughs> Maybe after Orlando, but I'm done trying to sweaty try hard tests. Um, I'm definitely down for a banana stream. They just whiff. That feels so horrible for them. Now, now I just get the uh, bird up. Oh my goodness. This just flipped from awful to gaming all in like one turn. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, I could just be using Chi Yu. I hate it. Like what what response do they have? And they're kind of like already resource starved a little bit. Why not that one card they for a seal stone for? Yo, what are we fang snipe? That has to be Sada and Hands. This has to be Fang Snipe. This is a hundred percent Fang Snipe. Yeah. I mean, they did not forest for a, for a trekking shoe. 
So what else would they have kept? This is, this is going to go hard. My favorite scrum about it. Is the error that Oh, like, like metagame you mean? I really enjoyed last format a lot. I'm so, <laughs> I knew it. Let's go. Topic research, that, that would be hilarious. Well, now we're, we're, we're playing airy, chat. We're definitely playing airy. <laughs> we know they got two cards in hands. Um, I mean, I guess they could go cart fleet foot cart again and, um, all right. I mean, my hand's not looking ultra strong, but I guess theirs isn't either. So that's kind of fine. Uh, there's lightning energy. I definitely would like to play a boss, but I guess boss is kind of pointless when they have two cards in hand. Second sealed. Like, so, like that Pokey Gear just should have whiffed for them earlier, so it wouldn't be totally shocking if a Sada is prized, or multiple Sadas are prized. Um, they bench, wait, they just bench locked out of Sl Slitherwing. Now they can't kill a Mimikyu. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that there's another potential win con. And they still have boss and pad that could take six prizes, I guess. Um Alright. Now I, I just go boss Sandy Shocks. Fang Snack Boy and other cards. Just try to keep slowing them down even further. We're either winning by Mimikyu Lock or winning by Retreat Lock. Yeah, we knew that was in there. Just two fighting energies. And now only one switch option remaining, which they would they might have to use to get out of the Sandy Shocks. I guess that they could play Sada and then Hard Retreats. But if if they're going Sada, Hard Retreat, then Bellowing Thunder, they, they, they like retain no energies. And it's going to be so hard for them to keep... There's the Collapsed. They are just straight up bench locked out of S S Sandy Shocks for the rest of the game. Why couldn't it have gone this way yesterday? <laughs> why is it? Why is everything going my way now? What is it with these have to do? It has a lot of HP and does a decent amount of damage. Um. If, if the Pidgeot gets damaged, we could use the Sharon. The player was definitely better, and also my draws were worse than this. Yeah. What I covered the second Wiggly, second Forest Seal Stone. Boss. Huh? What does this do? Now, they're, now, now their boss is gone. I just go Airy plus Singe. And they're just going to run out of... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, gear. I like how they put the Slitherwing back. Like, I'm going to give him a bench spot to uh, use it. There's the vacuum. They can't even knock out this Chi Yu now. This is so funny. <laughs> I just never had a moment to Luxray. Like, I was just on the back foot right away because I never really got going quickly in either game. Uh, I was... I mean, we were sort of fortunate this time that my opponent got off to a slower start. Otherwise, like, with how bad my opening hand was, we would have been cooked pretty quick. There's a middle of the Sada. Yeah, I, I don't even know if they have enough energies remaining that they could even close out this game. So they need four here, three here, five here. I don't know if they have 12 energies left. I don't think they do. 
I guess the Raikou would technically, like Raikou Swords card boss would technically be, be less. I feel like a repeat of the Roaring Moon match. This is airy, like. They could be holding cart. No, they're not. That, that's fine. I don't know then discard too. Um wait. Oh yeah, they had Oh yeah, they, they yeah, they had I that that was that would have done it. I mean, so does this. I yeah, we I mean yeah, they had eight total cards, but yeah, this this also works. <laughs> so much better than yesterday. Wow, they didn't even take a prize. Broken deck. We didn't even even we didn't, we didn't even show the mimic you. But also that that guy yesterday had vacuum every time that I had like cape or everything like. Bro definitely drew a lot better than my opponents in that game. We're not going to totally dump on my opponent's play quality. Because I don't know if their draws are even really that good enough that, that they could have done too much differently. Like, I guess when they went Forest for Sada, like, they pulled a Pidgey and then Forest it for not Lightning Energy. That was kind of weird. That was really bad. Uh, that's your friend from a local, so that's pretty funny. Oh, the... The, the, the guy yesterday. Okay. Oh man, XYZ defending defending uh the title. <laughs> XYZ's quest to repeats. Alright, what's the meta looking like for tonight? A lot more Lugia. The Lugia gamers apparently like Thursday nights. Something about Thursday that really uh Yeah, that just really gets the Lugias out and about. Hey, thank you for showing up, Captain. I really think Lugia is like the best. Like, I, I was listening to Omnipoke's tier list this morning, and bro's kind of right. Lugia's matchup spread is insane. Like, I know it's cons inconsistent, but like, okay, uh, like you throw out future hands. And like you pretty much have like no one favorite match. I do not believe for a minute that Seep has a 60-40. Like on paper, nothing is nothing is bad. Literally, you lose to yourself. And future hands. I feel like if, if future hands didn't like future hands literally just exist because it's farm Lugia dot deck. Yo, what's up, Wyatt? Like it's fine for Zard. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly favored for Zard, but like it's, I see if anything it slightly favors Lugia. But yeah, Lugia just feels like it, it. It may not be the most consistent deck, but like no matter what your opponent flips over, as long as it isn't an Iron Crown, you're playing the game into everything. As long as your deck works. <laughs> So, like, we were saying last night, I was, like, kind of surprising that for the late night yesterday that it was, like, the like Lugia keeps winning, but the usage keeps trending down. And um, I know it's, like, a smaller tournament, so a little more of a sample size. Yeah. Unless the, uh, the Zard player whips out a Delphox and knocks out both your rats. How is the Tina matchup with bird control? I mean, it depends on the list, right? Um, with, with, with this particular pile that we're currently working with, uh, Miss Energy Wigglytuff would be super cracked. I still think, like, like last one, you'd probably lead with Luxray. Um, and then try to bait the V-Star and then go Bufalance. Uh, Aerie just seems super busted as well in that matchup. Like, Bufalance are lost sending energies. Um, the Wigglytuff can kind of force them to, to commit to multiple Tinas. Um... You, you probably win by either just like trapping a Tino once they're like running out of energies or running out of switching options and just start milling them. Because Cape's Chi Yu uh, can't get lost impacted. 
Harry's broken. <laughs> that card's really good. Yeah, Cloth is pretty good against Lugia, Arc, and a future. I I was surprised about Lost Tina. Like I thought it was gonna like totally suck, but I was playing it a couple days ago, and it felt pretty good. Like I was very surprised. Um, if it gets hit, your opponent has to discard an energy, and it does okay damage. It hits for a pretty good weakness. So we use this. So the uh, the game plan. Oops, I'm not, not not the right list. The game plan into Lugia is use the Wigglytuff to knock out either double Archeops or double Chinchino, and Claw finish finishes off that one loaded up that last loaded up Ch Chinchino. And then they every time they hit into the cloth after that they lose an energy. So like eventually we can just like they're not gonna hit energy every single turn to keep hitting into the cloth. And we just penny loop until they run out of energies. Or we we can go back into Chi Yu and start milling as well. I do want to try Guardi. Um uh, definitely seems like it could could be uh alright. Yeah, I don't know either, because, like, Lugia can be a single prize deck. Like, both of them can basically be single prize decks, but, like, oops. Uh, Lugia, like, uptrade into the Guardi EX. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it would totally suck. I guess, like, Screamtailing the Archeops early would really suck. Yeah, it's like, there's no way it's a 70 30. But it's a pretty big sample size of games. Like, what's the number one Guardi list looking like right now? I mean, Screamtail would be annoying. Just like Screamtail Archeops st straight away would make it hard for them to ever reach Guard EX one hits. And like, I guess if like the Archeops get knocked out early enough, you probably lose the single prize war or just Guardy, big Guardy plus Turot is pretty good. It's like full of two loss vacuum. Yeah, Guardy does not, not appreciate loss vacuum. That's why I, I would kind of with, that, with the amount of draw that you have, you have the Galade. I wouldn't hate an Airy in this deck, just so you maybe could punish people for trying to hold that uh, vacuum. But this would be a potential pick for Orlando or, or even Indy. Um, I'm going to try to get it to be really good for Orlando, so I'm going to say yes. Um, But yeah, it is very adaptable. You can do a lot of different stuff with the list. Thoughts on LZ Gudra? Um, I don't know about the Goo. I feel like you're... Your your Lugia and C Pat match probably just suck. It's hilarious how like Chinchino doesn't even have to like try to one hit you. It like literally just blows you up anyway. Minchino does not care. Like if the meta is like Zard in hands, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, and so two of the two of the Tier one decks. Yeah, you have bad matchups into. But I get if we ever like get into like mostly like Arc Pile and Zard meta. You're my bird for land though. Hey. It is kind of a risky pick. I've been playing bird for weeks, so I feel pretty good about being able to play it well. And also like the un like <laughs> what's somewhat like if someone like doesn't really keep up like online with the list with the streams and stuff, I feel like you definitely could just capitalize on just people not knowing what what the deck does. Hey, C Pat doesn't seem like a bad pick. What's your my best plan into future hands? Well, you can't really bench. Um, you can't really bench Pidgeot. That's just an easy three prize snack for them. So we have the uh, wave good stuff and cloth that can potentially deal with an iron hands. Uh, the like like vested mimic you could kind of be iron crowns into play, which could play into retreat lock. Uh, so if they're not playing switch cards, then that could work. But um, it's it's definitely on the scary side. Like uh, if you could like ever get to a board state where you can like get luxury in, in, in the active spots. And like you can go like Fang Snipe Bench Pidgey in the same turn. Best protects Crown. 
No, but it makes it so, so like, they probably don't want to bench an Iron Crown because they would get Retreat Lock. But I guess, like, most of us are playing Psychic Energy right now anyway. Uh, but they have to be careful about benching Iron Crown, so... If they want to get through the Mimic you faster, they'd be tempted to bench more of them. Um, but yeah, I guess now that uh, a lot of them are playing Psychic Energies, I guess not too many. Uh, would be kind of, kind of awkward. Miss Energy help? No. It would, because Iron Crown's attack is damage, not an effect. So Miss Energy wouldn't block it. What's the cup in the second tough? I cut the second for a seal stone. Am I playing an indie? I will. The uh that Bramblegast Fortress deck is really funny. <laughs> that that deck is really funny. That's a horrible tank, Robin. I feel like So I, I'm sure I I I yeah, I don't there's a lot of ancient enjoyers out there, but I don't I think that deck's pretty bad. It was funny, like, so I, I I watched that Omnipotios video this morning, and I went to the comment section, and they put, like, they put Ancient Box in, like, D tier or whatever, and the amount of Ancient Box copium in the comment section was crazy, like, people hating on Ancient being in D tier, it's like, if you play the deck, it feels horrible. On paper, it feels like, um, on paper, it looks really good, but it's inconsistent damage doesn't scale very well i guess unstable early game and unstable late game and like the mid game isn't like your, your damage output sucks in the uh, mid game so it's like i don't know like it has it's got big hp for single prizes so people like c compare it to reggie's and stuff and it's like no reggie's it was inconsistent but it hit weakness into everything in format like it was they're not the same thing <laughs> Sign your mad indeed, but well, at least Future has the best matchup in in the game to Lugia, and like, yeah, it like it, it it at least has other matchups that it feels favored to even into. Oh no, I'm I'm not hating on Reggie's. Like Reggie's was was very real there for a minute, but. Comparing Reggie's to Ancients is kind of, they're they're not the same. But I've seen that I've seen that comparison though. Oh, but comparing Ancient to to Reggie's is a, is a disrespect. I see, I see. Yeah, people just always get super. There's like those people who like only play single prize decks, and they get super defensive when you say their single prize deck isn't very good. Um. But yeah, I feel like if you actually just like play the deck, it just feels like trash. Like, are you like play against the deck? It feels very easy to beat. Maybe Captain, we could maybe do that. Nah, re re real gamers play Iron Thorns. <laughs> yeah, the the whole like, just yeah, try to boss and counter catcher and prime catcher and, and take. Go one three two. Doesn't seem too bad. I, if Ancient had VIP pass, its early game would be a lot better. It it, it kind of sucks that like it's like exclusive A spec, doesn't really help it, because like its biggest issue is probably setting up, and drum doesn't help you to set up and like once you've set up you're kind of chilling with, with with ancient sort of so drum doesn't really help you a ton like you just rather be a prime catcher poor code breaker for reversal box is broken out oh, now maybe even a battle compressor okay i, I xyz is like literally um uh, um, like, <laughs> Rose got mad nostalgia for the black and white and, and uh, X and Y era. Oh, no, you misplayed? Dang. Hey, it happens, it happens. I had several games yesterday that I screwed up. It's Bird's a hard deck to play. 
Speaking of, there are three other bird gamers tonight. It's a luxury build. It lost to Arctina. Lost to Lugia. Yeah, luxury is not real. Don't play luxury. That card is not very good. And playing Daisy. Oof. Um, so there's that. And that one's still going. All of them are playing um, Baby Lux. Feels bad. Okay. I want to see if any of the people are playing the Awakely Tough tonight. Oh. Shoot. There's one. Oh, they lost the, they lost the CPAP. Dang. Who new plays against Not. Oh, that's me. Oops. Of course I'm playing the Awakely Tough. Rubik played it tonight. Nice. Blue, they're not playing it. So, so far, we have three w w Wiggly Tufts. Are there any more? No. That's Charizard. Wait, what? Oh, I beat Ron. I, I, I beat, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the Giraffe Raikou thing. Raging Bolts. But anybody got access to prizes? Yeah, I can take knockouts. <laughs> Bro couldn't decide if you want to play Future or Charizard or and then couldn't decide whether to play Pidgeyzard or Bibzard. So said I'll just play both. I'll just smash everything together. It will work. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's, it's definitely toward. So there's that. Yo, another another Wiggly Tough gamer. That's like what, four? Um we look at that one. Yeah. Wiggly's up and Toad Scroll. Yo, that's kind of crazy. This is technically number five. This one's a lot different though. With triple Sharon. There's no Mawile in here. Oh no, and no Lux Ray. What have we done? Okay. Leading a lot more heavily into the uh, Wiggly Tough part of the deck. Not so sure I like that, but okay. We'll, uh, we'll still include them for the sake of this exercise. Is that, there's like five of us tonight. Caught the stream live again? Yo, what's up, Prime Day? Can you check out the Diago's doing? Oh, for sure. And then by, by that time, the next round will be up. Um, actually, three and one. Hey, I was dogging on a Zard matchup, but it, it it's getting the dubs. Okay, let's see. No, Basque Legion feels so fake. No. I refuse to accept Basque Legion as real. 30 metal energy? Okay, no wonder bro lost to see. <laughs> bro literally probably drew a theme deck hand. There's a double Zamazenta. I think that's pretty solid. Like, if I were to play the deck, I'd, pl I'd, I'd play it like this. What's Braven do with 30 metal energy? I have no clue. Oh no, this is this is someone that's like the city league list. This is like the list like one of like the last city leagues. With the quad Zero Zandru, just I don't want to lose this doll back. <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely hitting four medals. Louis doll? I had to see a list. Basky Legion just seems so bad. Because it like, doesn't even actually hit that much damage. Like, it does get your, your energies back into the deck. And got out of the crew can be a nice consistency boost. But, like, I feel like I'd, I'd just like, rather, like, super rod and just metal blast that turn. I'm not even having to do, like, a 200 damage hit just to, like, get energies back into the deck. Like, it, it could be okay, I guess. Ancient Vox. Alright, I was just dumping on each other. They play one fighting. And no switch. So we literally boot flaunt their one fighting off of Karidon. And we retreat lock with Mawa. Alright, sounds amazing. Looking up some sick control stuff. Let's go. It like yesterday we were like three three thousand fifty subscribe. I can't believe we're already on like three thousand one hundred. Like I don't know what's what it's been with these early formats control videos, but 
everyone's seeming to really like them. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, it's not. Oh yeah, I just sending multiple times. It's fine. Um, so my opponents apparently. Okay, they were unaware how to check it, but they figured it out, so that's good. I'm glad people find it. Find it educational, like find it, get get value out of it. Because sometimes I just feel like I just say I just say words and I play Pokemon cards okay. And I don't really know if there's anything to be learned from it, but I, I'm glad to hear that pe pe people do. Why not, Robin? The thing with like Basket League, you know, those lists like play, play like no rods. And like almost always, if you gather the crew, your Basket is going to get knocked out. So, like, if that's your means of recovering energy, you're going to have to like super rod back the Basket and try to reestablish it. If you just calculus in between rounds, I'm uh, not doing that. That is, yeah, not that kind of all out education. Oh, I remember those Sanders streams back in the day. I guess really there isn't Scorpion's Baby Angel. Let's go second. Really, it's a lot of people who, who like play control on stream. I guess like Kremascoli does, but that's in Italian. So, gosh, what are these hands tonight? <laughs> what are these hands? I start streaming. Oh hey, wait! If if they don't move it, we just win. They only play a prime catcher. They have to retreat. Hold up, <laughs> we can cook chat. I should open the booth because then they might not have thought to retreat, and then we could go penny, attach, tempt. Oh man, bodied. I didn't realize there are so many control enjoyers out there. Like, they didn't attach. They just lose the game. There's no switch cards in here, right? Okay, hold up. This this is gonna be hilarious. They play one prime catcher. Cause doesn't it? Let's see. If yes, we literally win. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, and we just hit the prime catcher. Okay. So I I, I can bench. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh my goodness. They had to retreat there. They at least had to. At least had to. I mean, I could bench Pidgey and stuff now, but what's the point? Like. I mean, I would if I was playing and not open lists. Let's just see what the prizes are in case that matters. Not really. And they have like not uh not any good ways to throw cards back, so <laughs> Yeah, that is that is pretty funny. We take those I mean I could bench Pidgey next turn. It doesn't really matter because there's no gusts. So I, I can just like tempting trap every turn and like if they're like they have no way to throw cards back in so I mean it's gonna take 40 turns to, for them to get to the bottom but like we can just have my 10 second turns and yeah they have to somehow make this game last 20 minutes this is peak Snorlax stall I'm playing two Wiggly Tufts now. It's fine. We can prize one now. I got tired of prizing that card. It was chronically in the prizes. <laughs> hey, there it is. 
Five mulligans live is trash. Uh, at least they're just draw passing. That was hilarious. Am I on two two? I'm on one two right now. You don't really like. I don't really think there's times where you want two wiggly tufts, honestly. Like, I'm not sure that that like board state exists all that often. So I'd rather just play the one to protect against prizing and have a heavy ball for to protect against prizing jigglypuff. Um, what if they just, like also like attached all their energies and then I could just start using Chi Yu? Because they only play seven energies. Well, yeah, and, and, the, and the primes are already gone. Surprise Mimikyu? I mean, it, it's right here. <laughs> I do a podcast where I talk about life or tempting trap blocking people. I'll I'll let a podcast win. Alright, cool. <laughs> that was funny. That is so funny. I love this deck. I love Pokemon cards. I no, 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 no. I'm pure evil, thank you. That was the only choice. Okay, well they get the, they they put out the GG, but I'm still not I'm not gonna even put it at the yeah. I'm not gonna try to offend anyone. <laughs> we just cook everyone? I hope so. I mean I've s I think this deck just as as long as it sets up, it just feels really, really good. And we've haven't even really set up very cleanly the first two rounds, and we're 2 now, so I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, not against the most competitive decks, but, like, it's still dubs. We're just cleaning up the uh, ancient decks. Dang, how is the control, like, the first match done? Like, <laughs> literally one of the first games done. Aside from the no shows. Well, you gotta you gotta use it right. It's it's actually necessary against Lugia. Like if if we just like took cloth out for like a different card up against Lugia, we would probably just lose. Or well, we'd have to replace it with something else that could knock out a Wigglytuff in one hit. But just like also having that added ability of just discarding energy whenever it gets hit. You run bricks. Five mulligans. Wait, how do you want to break when they had five mulligans? That's so tragic. It's very tragic. Losing the deck out battle against Block. Um, sounds like it's a time to blustery wins and a knockout there at a Chi Yu. What I think is better to do EUIC, play safe and use quads stall or try to play Pidgeot's. Depends on what your goal is. If you're just trying to play it safe and gets get a decent chunk of points, it's probably probably Snorlax stall. But if you're going for more of the home run, like day two, deep run, cash prize, and you feel like you, you, you can play the deck well, then control definitely has much more upside. But the floor is definitely lower. The yeah, the skill floor is definitely lower, and like the consistency floor is definitely lower. Playing Boybrin EX, um, I think you could, but I mean, like, Ancient already is free. Future is a little sketchy. I, th I think I think you you could do it honestly, but I, I yeah. As easily, it, I Lugia is probably the play. Like it's not even a big brain deck has pretty much favorable matches across the board like if you're just trying to go like five three one and get a decent chunk of points then lugi is probably your your safest pick h fox heck yeah now featuring twice the wiggly's have power there's so 
many different directions you can go with this deck. So, like, just because I don't have, like, something currently in, in the list right now doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. I think it's Miss Energy's prize. Oh, that's good. Wait, regular block playing mists? That's kind of wild. Oh, actually, wow. I didn't... I don't think I've seen that before, but okay. A lot of my um, other gamers did not, did not uh, do so well for me. Yeah, no problem. We're always, <laughs> we are a uh, controlled enjoying Discord. It's it's fine. My main plan into Zard. Well, they have no good answer into Mimic you, so. In order for them to play aggressively, they have to evolve into Charizard X. And then we just keep pushing up Mimikyu. And eventually they run out of bosses and have to hard retreat. So we can keep guessing up that Charizard and forcing them to com commit more energies to move it. And if they're, if they're content slow rolling us, they're like, okay, I'm just going to use Charmeleons and try to, or Char Charmeleons, Charmanders. I'm not even going to evolve into Charizards. We can push up Cloth and put it, put a Charm on it. That baits loss vacuum. And they hit it, they keep losing energies. We can use Boo Flaunt and start loss zoning energies. Um, like the wind con isn't retreat lock. I mean, it can be if they like put down Rotom. Like they, they sort of have to forego their setup support Pokemon because Mawile exists. Um, yeah, Mimic is a massive threat for them. Um, like as soon as we, we we can really as long as we have the Aura setup, we really. Are quite chill and once they evolve into a Charizard EX. And then if they want to try to play it slow against us too, we have options as well. Yeah, but then they spend their lost vacuum and then we like Capes Mimikyu or Vested Mimikyu is never getting knocked out then. So that's fine. Like if 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 Cloth makes them like stop attacking, slows again slows the game down even more. So I can just go like I can sisters and airy spam, try to pick out resources, or if you have just baits their one vac and not they knock it out take two prizes vested mimic you just just wins when is that when does zard start playing cologne i don't think it ever does i it's like actually kind of hard to save cologne for the right spots like you gotta get a charmeleon or i know I, I guess it's not too bad because you like you just cologne nuke and mimic you like maybe cologne city is the answer I don't know though, cause like I like if someone went like Cologne City knockout, I would just start like buffalanting the Zard, and then they, it, it would get kind of stuck in a similar spot, right? Gengar gouging fire! Oh my goodness! Yeah, that I, I did play a Zard on ladder today that was playing Cologne double switch and like eight fires. And I still won. Proficient answers, no leaks. Uh oh. I do think that like Turo and Jet Energy are just better than actual switches. I think Turo is a pretty solid tech because it gets your Zardiacs off the board, which is a big issue. If like, even just like one switch back into Charmeleon Poke Mimic you, they just go Penny Counter Catcher and you're back where you started. So I think Turo's. If you're like, if you're gonna like try to. Commit that switch spot to your deck to try to make your stall matchup better. I think you probably go Turo, but I don't even know if that's enough. The hilarious part is Gengar doesn't really even do anything. I like even I guess I mean a hard auto win is more like stall, but against this deck it doesn't even do anything. Because I just Still keep Mimikyu active. And if they want to keep going back into the Charmeleon, we have the, the vest and, and stuff. And also just Cloth can run them out of energy as well. So Killing it with Heat Tackle is a pretty good move. Yeah. And I guess like Quad Lax is like a higher percentage than control. So like it's not the not the worst tech. Ever. I don't know. I still feel like committing two spots to your deck for like 
how like what's controls usage ceiling this format like how much higher than five percent can it realistically get i mean it's fine you want to play gengar plus um ghastly that's fine i don't think there would have to be some kind of insane meta shifts something to happen for control to approach like control slash stall to approach 10 percent because no matter how good staller and control are they're just gonna be people who refuse to touch the deck like more so than other kinds of decks um i took it a four seal stone i see orf Like, honestly, if, if if I were playing Zard going into, going to, like, it's tough, because, like, it feels bad to lose to, to control, but also coping and making your matches, like, worse across the board just because you're, like, playing, a, like, committing, like, three slots to try to beat those decks. Feels, feels kind of bad, too. You can both those energies price? Bro, price the energies? How'd you do that? Are you mean blue flaws? Oh, it's nice. Blue flaw and rads are dang, bro's cooking. I don't know, Luxray. Luxray. Also on Super Rescue Board? I think it's okay, but I don't think it's strong enough to. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense in, like, the current builds of control that I'm playing that I like, don't play invitation. So like if you're playing something like closer to this, it like has invitation and area and stuff, it gets better. But I don't think it's probably the way to go. I think Vox is better than Wiggly. That's just not a very good take. <laughs> um Yeah, Luxray is the one thing I don't like about. Okay, so there's the, the, there's a couple of flaws to the Luxray strategy. Like the first one is like if you do use Luxray to go kill a Chinchino, you can use like Rat like you have to like use Radzar then to kill the other Chinchino. But I think that doesn't really work that well. And then you you use. Lux, like to recycle luxury rather to, to kill the last one or also just like a good lugia player can just wait until they have a two prize knockout lined up and it's like go like chinchino ko pidgeot and then you have to have like the luxury response lined up and be able to like keep chaining all your combos after that without bird on the, the board I mean, if they're just sitting there for a long period of time, I guess there would be, um, would be time to maybe get two birds going. You can, you can cape one of the birds. Oh, I don't know. It's still, are you beating Mew? I don't know. I, I feel like Mew is pretty good this format. No one's playing Tomb. I haven't seen a Drapion in a minute. Well, double tails now you lose dang that sucks silene loves to hit double tails <laughs> Wait, but if, but if all their energies are gone can they back you out though i guess i mean there's 11 minutes left the rosan's back would be better than super super i don't think you ever cut super rod i think you could play it in addition to it in this deck another issue with the uh, with the uh, luxray is it doesn't like like they could just go lugia and knock you out like after you like care that first chinchino and then you like have, you have to find like so much to come back because you really want to clear the uh, chinchino so, so they lose their big damage uh because the 220 from lugia is manageable if you kept radzard but yeah, it's it's um 
what was it? What, 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 what am I trying to say? It's just like a lot, like so much has to go right for Luxury to, to, to work. And it's pretty not that difficult for the opponent to play around it. What was a cover for a second tough for a seal stand? Shift tree can discard RKF as soon as they're set up. How does the shift tree read exactly? Do you get to pick or does your opponent get to pick? I mean, I guess it does. <laughs> I guess it does. That's kind of funny. So you do this and then Radzard, I guess. Man, they're gonna... Well, like, what if they just kept their bench at three? They just had two Archeops, a Mancino, and a Lugia. Or even just kept one Archeops in play. Seems like it would be great if they did not expect it, but, like, another thing that wouldn't be that difficult to uh, play around. Well, they will kind of see it coming because there'll be a seed out on the bench. But any any thoughts about gold duck? I mean, it's, it seems cool, but it's like a lot of space to commit to something that like I don't think is super powerful. I mean, yeah, discarding the active is is neat, but like I guess I just like don't know like like when is that really even that good? For the amount of spaces that it requires, like when is that something that's like a really good play in a particular matchup? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then we're not playing control. I was, I thought you meant it in like a control Ruben. Okay. Sounds incredibly vulnerable. Yeah. I'm just not sure how you like yeah for, for the amount of slots that you eat up in 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 your deck and like the prep like if it's like super powerful in a certain situation it, it has to come from a psyduck right so they could just boss the psyduck so we have to play like enough psyducks so we have to like have like two on the board at once so we're playing thornton like sounds kind of messy Duck is a sham you might be right Please help your shopping spree. I can't, Prime J. Opening packs is fun. Buying cards is fun. Cards are uh, good. All right. Well, I can't. I, I'm kind of sad that we um. Got done so fast. <laughs> 16 minutes or 22 minutes of Blitzel rambling is kind of bad. Yo, Goldengo is. It's kind of sad how fake Goldengo is. Like, it's funny how it got worse. Like, you wouldn't think it would. Like, Cross Switchers are such a massive L. Like, losing Cross Switcher, I mean. Um, there's, like, literally zero reason to play Goldengo over Chin Pao right now. Arc Aerodact? There I did see that. Uh which which tournament was that? Like Arc Aerodact I got like second. It was one fairly recent. I'm in Cinnabar. Yeah. Interesting deck. I don't know how often you actually can use Aerodactyl against Lugia. You gotta go first and you gotta get it active, which seems sort of tricky when you only have like the one switch, one jet. But I guess you could um hard hard retreat as well, depending on the on the uh, starter, but I don't. I, if I remember, they didn't face any Lugia. Yeah, so not not sure. Cool idea though. I guess if you are using a reversal energy attacker, luxury is probably all, all, always better, right? And I'm not a I'm not a luxury believer either, but I luxury has to be better than a gold duck. You're kind of trying to try to make a control deck for each type. I guess I guess yeah, gold ducks. I get hey, is that a float soul still in formats? 
when it gets cards back. Oh yeah, that, that's 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 don't format. <laughs> we could. This is like our salute at home, right? Cape Cape floats. Well, nothing hits two ten, right? Two ten is massive HP. What are they gonna do? Uh, Trinity Nova. Ah, oh, we're living that all day. I don't know what items we're getting back to stay infinite though. Pal pad and energy retrieval. Ah, oh, yes, broken. One switch, one badge rifle, air off. Yeah, I kind of agree. It see, yeah, it seems kind of like cope because like not only do you have to go first, but then you also have to find everything without Starbirth. The hands and Razard and Lugia Ch 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 Chinchino. My goodness, we're making Lugia an even bigger pile. What's those packs that can airy with the cards? I mean, not that many decks play airy. It like <laughs> Airy is not what's holding Floatzel back. Because Floatzel has existed long before Airy has. And it's never been played. Sander might have played it once, who knows? Like I know Sander played those like I guess not. I know Sander played that like Zoro Box control deck that one time, but apparently Floatzel did not make the cut. Grass control's underrated. On oh, no grass control. There's four matches left. I think this is um, Ursa Luna Control, actually. All sorts of different flavors of uh, Control tonight. Arctina against... Yo, they're, they're, they're all playing the deck. They just net deck it? Broken. They did. I didn't see this one around one bag. Yeah, I guess they uh, they did late check in. Arctina do be kind of tricky though. Yes, three to go. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we we keep winning, but it's not quite as fast because winning winning super fast is kind of mid. I think Luna control as much as you can. Ursa Luna is pretty cool. I tried playing it the other day on ladder because someone sent me a list and I was like, okay, this seems fun. I want to try it. Oh, the one from, I think it's from Astral. Um, I was like, okay, this list seems cool. I'm going to try it. And I, I'm sure it was user error, but also I, it was just like, I couldn't see the vision and it just wasn't working for me. Like, I felt like I was doing it right, like looping my Ursulinas, and I just like find some way to lose. It was kind of weird. But yeah, it effectively junk hunts, kind of, but junk hunt was just trainer cards. But yeah. You have a big 280 HP thing getting back Turo candy every single turn, and not Turo, uh, Sharon plus candy, so you can infinitely uh loop these things if you can't one hit it oh no our soon to be no 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 we're not we're not that so um, not that cooking cut archaeops and just mainly attack special energies honestly why are we playing archaeops we should just like use rcs and attach it to to lugia seems much more efficient sandalure over here oh no How you consistently do bad all in turn? You to try everything. I mean, just gotta keep trying. <laughs> like, it's. I mean, yeah, just gotta keep keep trying. If you just keep working on it, eventually things will start 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 going better. Like I have, I have so like in all of my online tur the hundreds of online tournaments that I've done. There are quite a few 2-2 two, two drops in here. Like, I've done like 500 online tournaments. I have no life. <laughs> but yes, there's a lot of bad finishes in here. It happens. You just can't get, you just, you just can't get super tilted over it. 
that's the that's the worst thing you can do. Do you, do you want to guess where everything goes wrong? Well, sometimes sometimes bad luck happens, but there's also things you could do to minimize that to to play to play through it. Um, some like some of it could be chalked up to deck building as well. Like if if it's bad luck, like due to consistency or prizing, you could build. You just have to build your deck differently to try to like. If like I was having real like even though I was having technically like poor luck prizing the uh, Wiggly Tough, it is a really important card to my deck for a lot of strategies, a lot of matchups. So instead of like we we we, we, we could sit here and say, oh man, I prized Wiggly Tough six times out of, out of thirteen games. If it's if it's really so important, then let's put in another one. So if that situation doesn't come up as, as often. Okay, next round's up. Lugia, all right. Lugia, four boss, that is scary. That's a lot of orders from the boss. Oh no, okay. And 18 energies? I guess that doesn't really matter, but that's kind of wild. Okay, I really have to go first. <laughs> I'm very afraid that they could just turn two boss me. You Like sometimes you just see like two in Lugia or three, but hold up, we got four. Six Gus is crazy. I guess I have seen three boss, three three Serena before, but four boss. <laughs> Alright, let's just set up Wavy Tough and win. Um The thing is though, like I like I can't even say like that like that like, cuts consistency for more boss. Like, I guess they Technically, like, kind of, like, usually you see, like, five draw supporters, like, two Iona, three research, or three Iona, two research, and there's only two, two in here, so, but, like, they have three Great Ball, the Aromas, and Ultra Ball, like, all that stuff, but, yeah, I, I could really get punished for a uh, s slow start if we don't get going quickly, and they, they do. Um... It can knock out Chinchinos, it can knock out all their Archeops. It really just depends on how the uh, game goes. Like, sometimes it's kill both Archeops, finish with Cloth. Sometimes it's knock out all the Chinchinos. Also, <laughs> finish with Cloth or uh, Chi Yu. Uh, but yeah, it, it knocks out their stuff and is generally getting three hits, so. We do have to set it up first. It could definitely go off the rails if, like, I was testing the matchup earlier and, and if the Lugia player just, like, goes first, Ultra Ball du d double chops, turn two boss, Jimmy Buff, it's like, what can I do, really? We, we, we get to go up first. Pretty good. Uh, hey, this is not bad. The thing is, I don't want to open Jiggly because I'm whiffing energy attachment as right now. But this is really good. Like we have we have the the Pidgey, have Rotom. This is pretty nice. Yeah, there's that's that that's a pretty good piece of advice, Jonathan. Because it's, it's yeah, really easy to find the one point in the game where you had a good shot at winning the game. Like you had an opportunity, but it just didn't work out. But like, I mean, games of Pokemon are usually more than just one decision. So there's yeah, usually other places where you could have gone a different direction. Okay, Pidgey hits the board. Um, hey, Road Rotom is at both Wiggly Tufts this time. Let's go. Um, uh, let's check the energies. Fighting's in there. Hero Cape is in there. All right. Let's get the Jigglypuff on the board. Let's get the Rotom on the board. Have the Ultra Ball for whatever next turn. Why is the ugliest candy? Because it's not ugly. It's cool. So, well, I used to play with those IRL. I have cooler candies now, so I don't play with them. But... 
Honestly, I just use it because I know everyone hates it. <laughs> I, I can bait interaction with it. Yeah, that instant charge went hard. All right, they're going to jet back into the lug. And just read the wins. Do I have a link to the deck? It should be in the description. I don't really know if I want to play this Iono. I don't think I do. I think it's probably just like attached to Wiggly. And instant charge. I mean, their hand's not like, and I don't know why they, why didn't they Artisan for a Mancino? That's another confusing thing, but okay. I don't really want to Iona, like, didn't have a supporter. I doesn't want to go for a Rats either, so. I don't see a link. Yeah, but you, but you, you should be able to, like, copy-paste that. I can, like, also, if it's, like, I can put the Limitless link in there, too, if that's... That's easier as well. I can do that after this round. <laughs> hey, the, the music go, going crazy. I have the Lugia. So they're not going to read the wind anymore. You can't. You If you solo chops against me, just lose on the spot. Please do not solo chops. <laughs> I mean, they, like, the Wiggly stuff does kind of put pressure on. But also, it's not that substantial, I guess. Mr. Beast Lugia. Bro, he's got the... He does have that big open mouth face. He's got the uh, YouTuber face. Is this 3-3 three, three, three lug? Or is it... Yeah, it's 4-3, so... Chasing the initial Mancino isn't as good. Oh, you're on phone. You can't do it. Rip. Uh, I'll see if I can throw the link in. In chat. Sometimes YouTube is, is mean and purges my links. Even though they're going solo chops. That, that's just the game. I have everything in hand. I don't, it doesn't even matter if you knock out Rotop. You just lock, like the game's over. <laughs> wow. I, I'm going to. There's the, there's the link to the tournament page where you could copy paste the list from. Like the Lugia player should definitely just stay, stay patient here. Like I could go, I could like go into Charmed Chi and like maybe force them to, okay, I was going to say like, wait, did they goof up there? But no. Um, as a second time in two days, like last, last Lugia we faced yesterday, they did the exact same line and it like. <laughs> it, it does not work. I guess they're thinking that I'm not going to try to price trade through the lug. They don't just see that, like... Yeah, they're super vulnerable to that. Um, I could even... I don't even know if I want to. I don't know. I probably do. I pro yeah, I, I, I should have waited and drawn cards first and then tried to... Um, and then quick search, but it's okay. Like, this is still a really good position. Uh, yeah, we can just Iono and put down the cloth, get charm on it. Uh, we can Ultra Ball and thin some stuff out. Yeah, I don't, don't need you. I, I could have got down Mimic you as well, I guess, if I really wanted to. All right, ever seen a cloth sweep? Cloth definitely can sweep. Ooh, we have the vest. But does vest matter in the math at all? They hit 180, so yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Where's the link? Did YouTube... I mean, it's... Should just be a couple messages up there. Or maybe YouTube deleted it. <laughs> oh, the Yaku out of the prizes, too. Let's go. It is better than Gears. I played Gears. Arvins were not hitting. Luminion... Like, and the Ultimate Arc is good to find Luminion turn two. Like, these games where we go first, 
Does having more outs to Pidgey and Rotom turn one also feels good? You two deleted it? That's so mean. Like, it's my channel. Like, please let me post my own links. All right, I tried to post it again. <laughs> What's the Buffalon for? Um, it's pretty cool against Lost Box decks, Mirror, Arc Piles. Um, yeah, now I just go search out Heroes Cape Yakumo. And they're just cooked. Um, I'm sure it's Gift Energy. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, YouTube's goofy. Or 50 HP, pretty good. Yeah, they, they attach again though, but yeah, we just tank the hit again. I'm pretty, I I, I like, remember looking it up for a Paldea Vol Bylus video, I'm pretty sure. I was going to say Giacomo, but that didn't sound right. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure like the G makes the, the J sound. Giacomo, Yakumo, one of the two, but it's not Giacomo. That's not right. <laughs> All right, you, you can you can get your rats down. It's fine. I'll probably just like try to. What do I even want? I probably just like go like attached to the quick, quick search attached to cloth. Set, like try to Silene the Yochir back on there, I guess. Not not the Yochir, the Yakumo, I guess. Yeah. Or yeah. Seems fine. I said like I can pow pad, but I guess we could throw back in Ayano. We 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 might need that. I'm pronouncing it right? Let's go. <laughs> All out pronunciation goes crazy. Yeah, that's... That's the game. I mean for the 6-0 run? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Seems, seems, seems very doable. I'm gonna get knocked out by the way. Okay. They, yeah, sure, they, they, they gentle slap, but then what? Falling press goes pretty hard. They, they have zero way of taking their last two prizes. It is literally never happening. So whatever they, they put energies on, we just lost and knock out. And it absolutely sucks to put energy on Lugia. Because it doesn't want to hit Cloth. So whoever predicted the uh, Cloth sweep will get their wish. I, I, I could have gone for Sharon last turn. But like, it's fine. It's all a part of the uh, plan. I guess I probably, like, if it were a closed list, I probably should go Sharon to play on, like, Lost Vac or something, maybe. But, like, even if they go Lost Vac, Gentle Stop, it doesn't really matter. I think, like, either way, we're, we're fine. It would be hilarious if we had Erika's, because we know they grab that Luminion, just, like, throw the Luminion on the uh, bench. Alright. Let's spin some stuff out. Uh, I don't think we'll be probably needing those things. Grab the, uh, the Mimikyu, sure. Actually, probably Chi. In case they like don't Iona, we could even start going into into Mill. But yes, Falling Press. <laughs> Good use like Misfit Bulk. Yeah, there's, there shouldn't be anything that, that. 
this match should feel, feel winnable against someone really good. I guess, I think so, like a really, like I testing against someone who knows my list and knows exactly what I'm trying to do and plays Lost Vacuum in Lugia, it feels 50-50. So I think against a, someone who's not aware of, of, of what I'm doing, who's not playing Lost Vacuum, it's probably like, I mean, it's definitely over 50-50. Like I don't have a percentage on it, but it's definitely favored. Gentle slap, let's go. RIP gift energy. Yeah, we we just have quick search for a boss for game next turn. I don't yeah, it's it's pretty okay matchup. Like it's it's not one I want to sit across every round. Like I'd much rather see a Zard or a C Pow or a Lost Box. But like we have the technology to get it done. <laughs> they go solo chops. Like, I, I can't believe it. They just go solo chops and instantly lose the game. I'm like, it's open list. There's no excuses. Like, you can read what my cards do. Alright. Broken. Uh, it's... It's yeah, it's it's good against Lugia, but I have used it against Zard as well. It's kind of win more against Zard, like you don't really need it for Zard. Like you should be winning that matchup anyway. But it gave me another tool in that matchup. Alright. Broken deck. And, like it also can be nice against future and some arc files. Like if it's Arctina though, you'd just be a little careful about the iron leaves. But another super fast dub. That's kind of kind of good and bad. I know, right? That was like, that was never the move. But like, also if they just sit there, I either like I could go in with Charmed Fang Snipe and start taking the hand apart. I could go. I don't want to go like Wiggly type of pressure on because I, I don't want my I don't like care about knocking out the Alugia. I see against Lost Box. How is that? It's it's pretty good because like they don't uh retaining their own resources is pretty hard when we have Luxray and Misfortunes or not Misfortunes, Misfortunes there's an Airy and Wigglytuff is a massive issue for them. Like unless they're playing like like Hoopa. Um Wigglytuff can trade pretty well with their attackers. It, like they can't really build multiple attackers at once, or they run the risk of Bouffalant just taking their board apart. Um, we don't have a ton of like margin for error for like poor setup because like Sableye and Greninja exist. But it's like even harder for them than it was last one for, for, for them to hold their resources because of Airy. Like we can do so much damage to their hand in one turn now. Noivern plus Bronze on like, Evo Lock deck. That, that, that sounds pretty funny because you have like the basic lock and the evolution lock. That sounds pretty fun. That sounds like a, a cool ladder deck. I was doing Tina in the other tournaments. There's, there's another tournament tonight? I was un unaware of this. I guess there is. I was like three, actually. Well, I guess like just because you spend time playing Pokemon. There's like a really good video like the other day, like Omnipoke made about testing, like Um, like, just because you play a lot of poker, like, there's good ways to test and bad ways to test, I guess. And a ton of time spent in the game isn't necessarily just going to make you, like, because you're just, because you're investing your time just, like, playing a ton of ladder. Like, that's, I'm not saying that, that you are, but. Just. Yeah, just, you just can't get too frustrated with it. Like, that's. Can I, can I play against the Binet deck tonight or like in, in general? I don't uh, how the bull matchup go. Uh, they drew not super hot and didn't play the greatest, but we got there. Playing live this morning, area to LZP player and I'll switch, switch, gate, gate cards. Depends on the uh, board states. Have I prized your candies? Not this format, but I have in. Uh, pre-rotation. 
I was I prized double in the finals of a league cup. Luckily it was against Zard, so it didn't really matter, but it was hilarious. Cause I like uh we were just kind of like goofing off. Like he like literally like scooped game one su super quick. And like game two, he opened fish and was just like saying about he, he was gonna scoop if, if I set up. So I didn't really even prize check. Um and I like play heavy ball turn two and I'm like, oh, there's two candies in here. Or no, it was two Pidgeot actually, I think. But same same basic idea. Yeah, Banette would probably be really good against this deck, but I... <laughs> Who's playing Banette right now? Yeah. There's, there's like, so many different ways you can, like... I, it's, it's kind of funny, but there's, like, so many different ways you can test. And there's efficient ways to do it, and there's not efficient ways to do it. So just because, like, like, if you if you gave like two people the same amount of time to to, to test each day, and they both spent differently, like, like the same people wouldn't be equally as prepared as one another if they like spent that time differently. It's kind of interesting because like. Okay, there isn't like a perfect system for like for like everyone on like how to test and prepare and get better, but like there's definitely definitely uh do's and don'ts, I guess. Go oh, back to block control. <laughs> you mean Snorlax thought? I got you. Yeah, it Pidgeot's kind of weird. It can be a frustrating deck. Like I like before late night. I was getting pretty tilted with the deck. Like I was like playing the uh, pokey gear list that we were playing before. And I was getting so many like slow stars and I was just getting kind of tilted honestly. And I was like I'm like how can this deck beat everything but beat nothing? And I was like I'm just not I'm just going to ditch control. We're just going to and then I finally decided like, you know what? I've been playing this deck for a while. Let's give it another run for late night. Let's just switch up the lists. And here we are. We're, we're still control gaming. Well, like, if if it isn't... I mean, some of it can be bad luck and bad variance. I'm not saying that doesn't exist. But... If it works for other... Like, if... If it's working out for other people, like, in this... For, like... Bird Control's got some pretty solid finishes with various different lists. I mean, like you... Like... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I guess the bad team has got everything that, that he needed. I mean, I, I guess, like, like, how do I say this? <laughs> Rare thinking moment. Well, yeah. Um, the best player in the world, you brick all the time, I feel. Uh, where was I? What, what was I going to say? Well, if it's like, if it's working for, for other people, just, just not for you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Pidgeot Control will, will get better when the uh, meta shapes out? Yeah, probably. Let's see, what all, what, what all do we have out of three? You know, there's, I was going to say, is this Future Box? But no, it's Gouging Fire Valiance. So what would my approach be against this? I think Caped Pidgeot would be definitely the move. Actually, Caped Mimikyu would be pretty solid as well. Would be tough to retreat lock, but it could be doable. 
Yeah, Mimic U seems to be like a cape Mimic. Well, I guess cape versus charm doesn't actually matter. I guess it matters with, with tacky on bits, though. And like Luxray and Airy could really discard switches fast. Was that table one? Um, I, I did. <laughs> that was table one. Well, do they play Rod in their deck? Um, no, they don't. So if they go base and K, I uh, base and punch Mimikyu, we just go Penny knock out the Moltres with like Blustery, and then we just. They can never kill Mimikyu. <laughs> Mimikyu just sits there for the rest of the game. I guess they can burn it with Delphox. That's so inefficient. They have burn and Tachyon bits. But yeah, their deck does look very bricky as well. Like, they can't even really bench Squawk or Mold. Well, I guess they could because they do have a ton of switches, but it would open up more loss conditions. Yeah, that's, that's a crazy matchup. Gouging Fire versus Spide Offs, Table 1. Oh, it's Venomoth. That's funny. Temple of Sinnoh, Prime Catcher. Oh my goodness. Didn't want to go for the Acaped Venomoth to live the Akram hit? I'm disappointed. But I think Block will be better. I mean, I'm very biased towards Pidgeot, so... I feel like Pidgeot has the capacity to be the stronger deck that you can just... You just, like, have to deal with the clunky hands sometimes because like with the with the clunky hands also comes with the games where you feel like your entire in, in entire in, in you have in, you have complete control over it and they're like never losable from the very beginning i feel like that control has way more of those games than regular snorlax stall i think about dialga matang it seems really fun. It seems like a great fun deck. But I'm not like it has to be inconsistent with how many energies you play. And also I'm not sure how it beats some of the top decks like Charizard or Alugia. But I hey, well there was the a Dialga Tang that did well last night. There's one 3 0 tonight. With the Basque Legion. Let's go. <laughs> the goaded Basque Legion. Wow, this is sauce. So is Salvatore just not a good card? Well, it's kind of awkward to spend your supporter for turn just to evolve a Pokemon. Um, you have to have like a really powerful effect for that to be worth it. Because if it's just like most decks, they just rather just like research Iono and draw a bunch of cards and find their evolutions plus more stuff and like just like Bennett going turn one item lock or bronze on going turn one of evolution lock is just kind of kind of mid that's not like wally trevenants and you slowed down your time your entire opponent set up and then you use trevenant break and knocked out all their pokemon a tank plus razard will be good i'm not razard a red steelix Maybe. Just discard the entire deck. It will surely work. Like, I, there eventually could be a Pokemon that gets printed that makes Salvatore super good. Like, that's not impossible. But right now, just with the card pool that we have, it's unfortunately not that great. There's Alax versus Future and Arctina Mirror match. I think others getting beat up tonight. The only other other gamer with me is the gouging fire. Let's go. So what is what is doing well? The Lugias are doing well. Oh. Really, it's the, the 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 popular stuff really isn't doing that hot. Just I mean, aside from uh, Lugia, how many Lugias are at? You know, there's actually potentially a lot of them. Well, that's okay. Any Daisy Foad in, in, in my list? No, I don't think I, like, before I ever play Arc Phone Daisy, I, like, I feel like you have to take a, 
first of all there has to be cards in, in, in your deck that like are just insta losses when you prize them and there also has to be like you gotta, you gotta think okay is daisy phone just is that better than just playing more copies of those insta loss cards like how often like if I prize a, like a fire energy. How like how often will I just have the turn to go Daisy Arc Phone pick out fire energy? If like that was a super big deal. Like I just rather play more copies of, of those cards that I, I want to have. I could see maybe Daisy to peek at the prizes, like if the like um because we are taking prizes with this deck so being able to take the desired prizes doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world but i think arc phone's not very good like that slot that i'd be using for arc phone would probably always be just towards a, another card that is just better more often i'll see what you're really doing lzb with with hoopa hoopa kind of cooks King with VMAX and Magnezone V-Star. Oh, the the turn one Magnezone like double snipe would be pretty nasty. I was a Tina mashup with Pidgeot. It's pretty good. I mean, it, it depends on what you're on what you're running, but Luxury and Area are really broken against them. And then with this list, we can just go back into Bouffant, try to trap a Tina. And eventually they get stuck in a spot where they sort of have to start lost impacting things that they don't want to lost impact because they can't just keep moving the teen and over over and over again how do you beat Diago with Pidgeots uh probably by scooping I don't know if Tina's favorite into block though like Tina lists aren't playing that many temple answers like maybe two so like if you stick a temple that takes four switch outs away it's hard for them to keep all their stuff in their hand because of Aerie. Like, honestly, like... I'm not sure because I haven't played the matchup much at all. But I would think that Block would have an okay... Like, as long as you're playing the Temples and Aries and stuff, like, it should have an alright time. Oh, I said... I thought... I, I, I read that the reverse way. Yeah, I think that would be true. Because, like, also, there's not that 2 press liability. Oh, we hit the gouging fire valiant. Okay. We're, we're just talking about this. So we'll uh, stick to the plan. Mimic you with, with, with a cape on it. And when they Moltres me, plus three wins, knock out their uh, Moltres. And then Mimic you is, is free. Gouging Fire of Valiance at 3 0. Oh. Yeah, there should be an auto win depending on the list. Yeah, it's a match I haven't even really thought about. But they do play a lot of energy, so they can attack with kind of whatever they want. But I guess you got them stuck by them, um, up behind them a tang with like Vested Mawile. They're hitting 20 a turn and you just Penny Loop. So that's probably not bad. Is that why some of them are playing the Metagross? Because I've seen that before. They had like Metagross like one hit your mall. Wow, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, but then Defiance Vest would nerf it down to a 20. Is, is Mawile wow weak to metal? Oh, it is. Oh, that kind of sucks. Because Vest is after weakness. So it's a penny every turn. That'd be kind of bad. I guess if you're playing Radzar and you could just like um you could just nuke whatever they like you'll just nuke a big Tiaga. That could be kind of funny. Um not got the brand replies here. This I did 80. Wait, how much does it do? I thought it did 60. We, we're all thinking uh, different things here. 60. I was right. Y'all are wrong.
<laughs> Y'all don't know the power of beam. Beam is broken. Yo, we hit 3,100. That's a pretty cool number. Shout out to, to all y'all. That's pretty cool. Never got Matang. Yo, getting Matang at pre release was a massive L. That was an insta loss. If you didn't pull the uh, future stuff, you were kind of cooked. Like, I somehow scraped out two wins with my uh, Alligator deck, but future was, was a broken for that. If you got the uh, for alligator Matang one, you just picked up your cards and just went home. How's Poster Gaming been for me? Oh, pretty good. We are, um, we are con controlling. But how about you, Hayden? Since, since Rapid Strike is gone, what's the move? <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the play? You have a Tango Awesome a ride on? Yeah, the, the future stuff was so good. You had hands with Neuvern and prizes. Another reason not to play Neuvern, chat. I'm probably playing first, which could be scary if they get pressure right away. Should I give my deck you enjoy? I... <laughs> yeah, that sounds... No spread and formats killing you. I guess there really isn't, huh? I mean, Lost Box kind of, but not really. Dang. It's a tough world for our Rapid Strike enjoyers. Wait, can we just top... At least, like... I mean, Luxray could get Gouging Fire to one hit. But they'd have to have pretty nutty hand to get there. That's that's for sure, Joss. Give him Valiance. This is scary, because we could just kind of lose, but... Alright. Does putting the charm on actually matter? I guess it could... It could bait vacuum, but then I lose for a seal synergy. Like, the Gouging Fire always one-hits me. Entei never one-hits me. I guess if they're going to research my vacuum, they're going to do it anyway, so... They, they have to base in Sada, attach... All this stuff, but... A donk is possible. And instead without, without battle pass, seems sorry to get all your dudes down, but maybe it's... <laughs> Don't have fun in the game without taking four prizes in a single turn. I don't know, that's that's peak Pokemon. Oh, the, the vacuum's gone. At least one sod is gone. Okay. That was a painful squawk in Seize. Alright. Miss, Miss Magius with de-evolution. Oh, that's not you look at your opponent's hand and select three cards and they shuffle the rest back in. Um, I mean, they're getting stuff down now. They still need to have a lot, but they're getting there. Oh, that's wrong, Miss Magius. I was thinking of a control Miss Magius. Oh, spread. Okay. All right, cool. They whiff it. They whiff attack. We're still alive. <laughs> Gotta go back to a Coffer Grigas. I I still have uh, nightmares over that Coffer Grigas deck. They just hit nothing. Okay. So I... We do this, right? Like... We press double Pidgey? Huh? <laughs> I don't see any Pidgeys. <laughs> Come on, deck. Well, okay, we have to nest ball for Rotom or a seal for. Oh my goodness. It's all right. Oh, wow. This is massive sad. <laughs> sad bird noises, yeah. There are the birds. A lot of birds. Half my prizes were were birds. Okay. Um, I don't want to retreat because I kind of want to keep Rotom around. All right. There's a fish, but not quite 
Pidgeot, but he puts us closer to it. Uh, Moltres hits the board. They're down one boss already. They must have top deck the basin. Oh, yeah, they just have like one gust left. Oh, wait, they have prime as well. So they have two gusts actually. Hmm. Sharon price could matter. It, it, it might be nice to take the bird off the board. Or if we try to. Okay, we're not actually too upset about that. Like, we had candy, but not a lot else. So. Now we've Ultra Ball, but at least we have like Cape and DTE and some stuff so we can kind of get cooking. And that's another thing where, where they're not swinging. Why oh, no bravery on bird? I wanted to save it to maybe put on. Well, yeah, you're 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 right. I I, I should have done that. I was like sometimes I'm thinking that I like might want to put it on luxury, but I don't ever want to. I think actually. Okay, if they go in with like Moltres, they're gonna go in with the Moltres. Okay. You called it XR. What a legend. All right. How do we want to do this? I just... Do I just bluster? No, I don't want to... Oh, well, Hero Kate blustery win. KO Moltres. What a legend. <laughs> we Yeah, we could just go... Penny hits. I kind of want to try to stabilize more. This is why we did not attach. See? See? But even Fang Snipe could be kind of good. Like, if they're holding Sadas and stuff. I guess I just need Magma Base and attach. That wouldn't be that hard. You know what the heck? Let's, like, their, their vacuum's gone. I think we... I think we, we, we can do this. I don't like getting my 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 bird slapped. This is like 260, right? Okay. I also sort of don't want to nest well for the Mimikyu just yet. That's the Mimikyu just win. Yeah, after we kill the Moltres, yeah, it does. Um what, what was I looking for? Ionos. Can they disrupt my hand? They could, but I wouldn't be actually that mad about it, so. It's fine. If there was rope and four bat, we would. And we get to bounce the basin, which isn't just nothing either. So yeah. Gaming. Hey, just what we needed. The bird. Yeah. Attacking with the gouging fire is kind of awkward as well. Yeah, because they have one boss, one prime, which gets them two, which just gets them four prizes max. So they always have to get through the Mimikyu. <laughs> That's taken 12 Tachyon bits. We might actually see the Ablaze Blitz. I think we just go like Quick Search Airy, try to take some switches out of the hands, put down the Mimikyu, Retreat Instant Charge. Did it pop the Forest Seal Stone? They're just going to aggressively take Rotom? I don't think... Doesn't feel right. Surely you want to try to two hit my bird and just cut off my instant or cut off my quick searches and hopefully that wins you the game. Okay, it's 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 all right. Because now their 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 boss is like never taking them a, a prize card. I guess the shoe, like, they can keep the rest of stuff. And they have to have a switch to even get out of the... Well, I guess they want to go back and tacky on bits anyway. Uh, I don't think we need to how pad just yet. They're in vacuum. It's already gone. They had to squawk at turn one. And the end they're deep, but that was a pretty painful squawk. This um, the claw's mainly for Lugia, but it, 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 it's cool against Future as well. Charmed Cloth is, is annoying for them. 
Yeah, if they had the vacuum and could have carried Pidge. I probably I don't know if I would have aggressively gone in like that though, if that was a potential play for them. Alright, I don't know it's cool. I guess it still would have been hard for them to KO Mimikyu, so. Probably was still alright. Okay, I don't like that they can just like retreat between these two Valiants over and over again, but I guess like we have Penny frequently enough that that takes forever okay arvin off the top super good gets us charm uh what else we got pal pad i don't think there's really a i should have quick search first to uh not tip my hand but it's okay i guess i don't have any hand disruption anyway Yeah, it's not worth spending a counter catcher because they, they want to play a switch anyway. We can get some more. We can get a better top decks. Yeah, I feel confident that we can win the game in 13 turns. <laughs> or that, that, that they cannot win the game in. Because it's going to be less than that since I have to sort of draw cards too. Yeah, after we kill the Moltres, they're sort of stuck. Like, they can do 40 a turn. So, we don't have to Penny at this turn, so we go Quick Surge for Sisters and try to get rid of some of those remaining switches. Why is we could have gone Airy as well, but that's alright. I think we, like, pull up the, the Entei, force them to play a switch. Okay, there's none in there. Yeah, this, this is fine. How many switches have they played? Oh, they played most of them actually. Yeah, gouging fire, <laughs> valiance. They did not set up very well. I feel like that probably would be an issue with the deck without battle VAP. But we probably got lucky that they didn't swing the first couple turns. Whoever I said uh, they were not going to set up was definitely right. Ooh, four in a row. That's neat. Summon the candy off the top of the spot. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Well, they start, that was a really tough spot to be in. Because, like, if they, if they don't squawk and just sit there, like, that... I think they have to take the, uh, they have to take the shot and try to win the game there. But yeah, bidding all those cards really sucks too. It really was, really was bad spot to be in. Gouging is interesting. <laughs> it's for a lot of damage. So what all is there out of four now? There's another gouging fire. This one's a little different though. So th this gouging. There's a ton of baby Moltres. But, um, there's not nearly as many switches. So that would be interesting. Do these buff each other? No, it's just like the Zapdos, so they don't. So, Charm's Mimikyu is still pretty solid, or Kate Mimikyu. Yeah, we'd, we'd probably just, like, try to counter catch her a ton to get them to... Burn all their switches or energies. I guess they have four jets. That'd be tough to get through. This one would definitely be a lot harder. Might have to wiggly tough in this matchup, honestly. That might be the the play. Oh, they and they could one hit a. Uh, they could one hit like a. Well, could they quite? What? No, they couldn't quite one hit a Kate Pidgey. Yeah, so that would probably be the uh, move if we were to face this. Just pull a Sydney from my back pocket. I would Sydney would be so good. Like I feel like even better about the Alugia matchup if, if Sydney were in format. They couldn't even hold jet energy. Is like retreat lock would be all of a sudden become a win, win condition. I don't. I mean, jet's good, but I don't. I don't think it's like a bad card for the game. So there's a lot of Tina. Ah, oh, wait, we did Tomb though. 
that's that's not cool but they don't play temple so like wigglytuff kind of bodies them misted wigglytuff just bodies them you just loop slightly and even with clawfish it's like gouging fire list um what's the list so we have to cape it right and the max spell could get kind of weird Yeah, they could one hit the cloth. That's. I'm not sure that's it. Do I play Temple? No. The Windbox Challenge tomorrow, pre rotation, you know what to play? The answer is always control. <laughs> control is always the answer. So there's a Tina, we know. XYZ is on Lugia. The Thornton as well. But only 3 3 Chinchino. Only two boss. Yes, we could we we could definitely work with this. Uh, and then this person's wait, Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon, the Dunsparce. Wow. Okay. That list is pretty sick. <laughs> so. I mean, Capes Bouflant would just body this deck. Also, Wigglytuff with a Mist Synergy would body this deck. And they play no switches either, so they can't bench Greninja. I guess they do have a Penny, so they could bench it once to get early game. Um, early game, my draw. Just Delibird, your Noivats, you just put in Thornton, that's pretty funny. There's some crazy things happening today, and it's not just not just my goofy deck. There's a sea pal. Yeah, this would be this would be fine. A bundle, I guess, is kind of annoying. Or could potentially be annoying. But yeah. Yeah, the actually facing that gouging fire would, would be kind of weird. Radiant Charizard would be, would be like really good in that matchup. Like even just like dropping it preemptively and getting like DTE attached knockouts. I feel like we definitely could take six prizes with with Razard maybe. I guess they have a lot of boss. Maybe maybe that wouldn't work. But it it might be able to take out enough resources that mimic you could win. I don't know. This seems kind of bad. Can I explain the Lugia matchup with Cloth? So, we either want to knock out both Archeops or knock out both Chinchinos. If we, or knock out, not both, knock out all the ch ch Chinchinos, because then we have the, like, assuming we knock out both Archeops, and then after that, they use, um, their final hit on Wigglytuff would be a Chinchino. So we would knock out their only loaded Chinchino up with the cloth. And they have no energy acceleration. They have to kind of keep hitting this cloth, but every time they do, they lose energy. So we just penny loop the cloth. Eventually they whip a manual attachment or something like that. But like we, we even can like, if they have other bench Pokemon, we can like if they have a Lumini on, on the bench, like it, off discards and energy we can go counter catch or bring up the Luminion and then penny so they have to have attach retreats and um the other thing to keep hitting cloth um it gets a little weirder if we have to kill all the chinchinos instead which is still fine because then they have no big damage options like one hit our stuff uh then we would probably just try to chi like try to loop chi you or loop cloth to run them out of resources after we got rid of all their big attackers The Luminion Ultra Ball is pretty, pretty clutch. Now you're fine, boys. You can. Noivern's one of your new bird control lists. I'm sleeping for sure. I feel like. I think some of the matches Noivern wins, I'm just already fine against. The, the auto win versus future is pretty cool. 
that's really the only thing that I feel like Moivern would bring to the deck that it's missing. But I don't even think the future answers have that anyway. You don't want to go back to Vlog? Once you've tasted the luxuries of the bird, you can't go back. <laughs> your, your eyes have been permanently opened. You can't go back. There's an Arc Dactyl here. This deck just... Okay, I'd be down to face this. It just scoops to mimic you. Wait, and Cloth kind of cooks this. Cloth and mimic you both cook this. We just gotta get that vacuum out of the way. But the double Devo is really annoying. Dang. We're we're definitely cooking. If they catch your boss Noivern, does it die? I don't think they can ever hit can they ever hit two like Noivern has 260, right? Technically, they could. If they had four Iron Crowns, a Booster Capsule, and they went, like, Iron Bundle plus Boss. Yeah, they could Arm Press for a one hit. And you get Solo Neuven, though. The game's just over. But Barrel and, and Mew can hurt. Yeah, but that, like, forces them to put energies on not-so-great Pokemon. And also we can like cape on on the uh mimic you would force a three hit so i can uh force mew to three hit so i can just silene penny loop the hardest part of that game would be the devos i think and if they were able to save their vacuum to go like vacuum plus lost city ko mimic you can't really wiggly tough because of the aerodactyl so it might just be like use Mimic you to bait the vac, then go cloth and try to penny loop cloth. Yeah, that'd probably be the be, be the play. PG control over Timmy control. Is that what we're calling Snorlax stall now? We're calling Timmy control. I don't hate it. Oh man, the Dialga finally lost. Baby Ancient, we take those. These baby ancients that play no switches, we just, we take those for sure. <laughs> no switch, one gust. Sure, you can, you, you can use Great Tusk and mill some cards. That's fine. And then the other one, Arc Drago? Arc Drago Vulpix. This is an Arc Pile if I've ever seen one. Boof Riz would definitely be kind of clutch. They have, they play the Karidon for the Shred. That is so funny. I guess that's probably the only answer for a Mimikyu now. You have that Mist Energy, so... I can make Boof hard. But I, I guess we just got like Yakumo. That away. Boof Riz. I guess we wanted to KO one hit a... Well, they could go Light Pulse. And block the last Headbutt. But that'd be another odd matchup. That'd be another weird one. There's a lot of potential strange matchups here at 4 0. Not a lot of meta tonight. Like the, the meta stuff is not doing so hot. It's like there are even any there's one Zard at 3 0, and they lost. So there's no no undefeated Zards left. There's no undefeated futures left. All the good stuff's getting cooked. Well, not the good stuff, but the, the popular stuff. Obviously, uh, control BDIF. Zard versus that uh, state. There's a bird control 201. Hide Zard, that's unfortunate. And Luxray Daisy. They have all the sauce here. Like, see, this is my problem with Daisy. Like, you're playing double side lean to your pad. Like, I feel like just playing instead, of, like, you play like third pad instead of the arc phone. And I would feel very, very, very good about that. Not very good, but okay.
I don't know why switch like in this particular deck. Why do you have a switch over switch cards? <laughs> You're not gonna get your uh, I guess in like mirror, so your Pidgey couldn't get stuck. I don't know if that's an interaction that actually matters, but maybe. I guess how much does the 30 heal matter as well? Uh, okay. So bring up bring up the W because of the extra cooking last night. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna try to win tonight. How detrimental is Peonia loss? It hurts, but it's not the end of the world. But it definitely hurts. And Mist does stop Buffon. Okay, two minutes. We gotta stop winning so fast. We need my opponents to like not throw. I guess my opponents, this person didn't throw. They just had not too much that 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 they could do. Your two one in Pokedex, nice. Uh, so the Arc Dactyl did win. That'd be a very interesting matchup. Yeah, we had to Silene a Candy back to play around the Devos. Even would be kind of hard to Luxray because, like, raw. I think we probably still could try, though. I guess they could just use Relicant and copy the thing. Yeah. We're just two jets. Like, these Aerodactylists seem so cope. Like, we're just two jets. Are you really hitting Ancient Star that often? Turn two against Lugia. And you have two jets and prime catcher. I I'm really not <laughs> I really don't think so. And I guess like Toro too, but you have to have a pretty good hand. I guess you got you have Cypher Maniac, if you get a Cypher Maniac bib. But going first, getting down all of that seems kind of hard. Maybe it's probably better than I'm making it out to be it just still seems kind of scuffed hey control is definitely a <laughs> control and open list is is pretty pretty convenient but open list isn't the end of the or a closed list isn't the end of the world either though because then they don't have as great of an idea of what we're doing so like they're playing they, they could be playing around stuff that doesn't exist but it's probably not as big of a as of, of a buff as just knowing exactly how many switch cards you need to play around. 602 guaranteed cut? I would assume so. I don't know. Off the top of my head. Our next round's up. This is CPOW, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. We take CPOW. Yes. Just just the prime catcher for switch effects. Um, yeah, Wigg Wigglytuff Clutch, pretty, uh, pretty normal Sea Palists. I guess like Iron Bundle is like the most uncommon card, but you didn't see that fairly frequently. I, I think I I Iron Bundle is pretty good in Sea Pal. Yeah, like, pl like playing around Erica, playing around Mantine, like Raging Charizard. Erica's, um, even Snorlax. There's not Snorlax in this list, so like they don't necessarily have to be super cautious benching their retreat lockable Pokemon, but they may see the Rotom and the Pidgey and the Luxray, and they're like, well, benching this Luminion could be kind of bad. Cause I guess if they like had a Turo. And like playing Zard, you could technically bench the Luminion if you needed it to go to get going faster. I will say playing control on ladder is very stressful because like you just face people who have like crazy jank teched out lists. Like I faced a Zard this afternoon that had two switch, eight fire energies, and canceling cologne. 
So I like after I saw two switches, I wanted to go retreat lock Rotom with Mawile, but I was kind of not sure. I was like, bro's so teched out. Um <laughs> so I, I decided to win with Mimikyu instead. Uh who we're up against again? I forgot. Yes, 4 0. So far, so good. Control gaming. Right. Let's do it. About to be 5 0. Okay, I hope so. Probably going a second, which can be kind of. I think it's optimal to go first in, into POW. I want to get my Pidgey Shuriken, but also we can just go Charm Pidgey. Is that with four switch in Liverpool? That is ridiculous. I think we go Mim Mimikyu. This one's definitely better going, going second. But yeah, how do we... Well, actually, we just Arvin for Pidgey, Bra or Nest Ball Bravery Charm. Put down Pidgey Charm at a pass. And next turn, we go Ultra Ball for Luminion for Arvin for Candy Forest. Get the Pidgey on up. <laughs> I do bench the Barrel straight away. So, they're giving me Retreat Lock as a win condition. I don't think that's correct. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's right. Oh, here, that's a pretty good card. It's not, not yet. Okay, four seal stones in there. Oh, let's see what's what's up. Ah, oh, the Luminion is the Pidgeys are actually in there this time. Luxray is not. Uh, Mawile is not. So that's two good cards. Prize kind of sucks. Um, fire energy is sisters are in there or candies are all right cool okay i as much as i hate benching it i think it is correct to bench the chi use so we don't get iron bundled like make them have to have prime catcher as gross as that is well i I could just go Bravery Charmed Mawl and Penny and eventually like, yeah, like unless they have absurd coin flip luck, we're fine. Wait, did, did, did they conceal before? Hey, why didn't they attach retreat? I don't know. There's the Cypher Maniac. Need the duck for Viv? No, we just retreat like the Viv. Everything is okay. All right, they have the concealed into the prime catcher. They're going for it. Into candy backs. Dang, their hand was absolutely loaded. I mean, they did stack two cards on top, but they still had to have I guess one of those and, and, and the cipher. I guess it wasn't that good, right? Well, darn. This. We don't need to do too much to close out this game. But the hand's looking kind of sketch now. Um, but it's, it's okay. Do they even use the barrel? I don't think they did. I guess they, they're trying to play it around Airy. Alright, let's present the Mimikyu. Alright. Take two. We get... Well, I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, they have no more gas, so this this Pidgey is safe. Like an iron bundle in take two, but they are um Alright. Fine, I'll do it again. It would actually be sort of annoying for them to go knock out Mimikyu here. Like they'd have to go back into Buster Tail. Like retreat Buster Tail, like play an SCR. Okay. 
I mean, I assume that's what they end up doing. Either that or Iron Bundle get the Chi Yu knockout while it's there. Looks like they are going Buster Tail. Or no, Raiding Greninja. Oh, I wonder if they're going to try to Ninja into Amp. Okay, I guess that makes some sense, right? There's Bundle. If they bundle this turn, I just send a Pidgey, right? Like, <laughs> I don't let them get the massive nuke on Chi Yu, and they already ret hard retreated, so. Yeah, I guess if I don't spend the uh, bundle just yet. I mean, I sure can. Oh, they put it on the Pidgey. They're like banking on me just not having anything. I guess they could just. Hmm, okay. Blew me off the top. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. Arvin gets us candy. So we have Arvin which is, gets, gets us candy for a seal stone. Ultra for for Pidgeots. We have no we're actually a gust short of the uh Well, I, we could, we could Tempting Trap here. How good is that? Uh, this is where Ultra Ball kind of sucks. Dang. I'd rather have a Block Lax here right now, for sure. Ultra Ball, Penny, Cyleen, Airy Penny. Pidgeot. I guess. Um, oh, how do we want to do this? Just, I guess we just try, probably try, try to just get towards the uh, Mawile, right? Isn't CPAW not a great matchup? No, CPAW is fine. All right. I think we have to retreat into the Chi and pass, which kind of sucks. I can't bench the Mawile because then we get... We get hurt by Greninja again. Not true. But I, we get there next turn. I guess it would be sort of annoying. I maybe could have preemptively popped the Forest Seal Stone. But then Iona would have really been bad. Alright, they aren't going to go with Iron Hands. So. Yeah, this. They bench the bundle. I mean, I would totally trap Bundle if they leave it on the board. 40 a turn with, with Vests. Candy and other backs. Let's see. I guess they, they like have... They have that knockout if, if, if they want it. On the, on the Luminion. They're just taking the, the, the KO on the Chi. I think we're fine then, right? Because we quick search for Arvin. We quick search for Arvin for Defiance plus Catcher. Catcher up the bundle. Okay. Yeah. Even top deck Catcher. So Arvin. We have Vest in the deck. Um, Vest. Catcher. I guess it's we, we, we can go Vest Pad here, actually. And then we Forest Seal Stone for energy. Because the thing isn't able to get popped while it's in on, yeah, when it's on the bench. Okay. Right, just get Mist Energy or whatever energy. And I guess, th like, this is a little safer than 
Yeah, this is better than Barbaro. All right. Yeah, because they knew we had the FSS in hands and they held a water energy. So yeah, they definitely probably should have gotten there. Now I think we're uh, we're kind of chilling. Our only enemy is the is the clock. Uh, let me just try to pull up limitless here and see how much time is left in round. Let's see. I can't get them to spread out other enemies, unfortunately. That 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 would be pretty pretty nice, but. Can't quite do that. The refrigerated stream broken. I think we can just go sisters here and try to mill this turn. And oh, it's right there. And then we start pennying and silening after that. Try to a little more aggressively go after resources. Alright, uh, how much time is left? How much time is left? Oh, still 17 minutes. We are fine. And they're not making an attempt to slow play either, thankfully. Game like kind of froze there for a second. That scared me. Uh, wait. I don't want to get bodied by... And I don't know, maybe. Oh, I just, I want to play fast, but I want to play carelessly. Like, can we spread energies? I mean, I guess we, we still could, right? Since, since, since the Mawel is not charmed, I guess, is the, is, is the thing. And I prize the counter catcher. I mean, we still could go. We still can though. You're not wrong. This is good. Good chance we have a long extension. Oh, there's something happening. We we definitely could though. We should probably like actually start quick searching for for cards to build towards that uh, combo. Okay, then we do all this. But like what I'm just, I need to grab a counter catcher, I guess, like prematurely. Yeah, they, they put prime catcher turn two. Silene. And do this. And do this. Broken card. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they do have have Iono that could let them stick around for a little longer. So maybe we do try to play for that energy extension route. Uh, we even could pull up the... Well, the Rad Ninja twice could win in the game, so... Yeah. I like the... Yeah, this is, this, this is fine. This is, this is so repetitive. I wish we just had a, a, a Snorlax active. We could just pass, but that's just a convenience thing. I 
Like, we could technically counter catcher and pull up a barrel and try to, like, spread them all, spread all their entities out. We, we still could do that, though. So... We grab counter catcher here. And the next turn we we go Penny active counter catcher up the barrel. Um forcing to 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 commit three. And then we whatever the the, the result of, of that is. And, and we uh, put the 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 heroes cape on. Yeah, I think that's that be better. Cause then if they do whiff on the on the coin flip, you pull it back and have them locked out of the game. I guess it doesn't matter though, because if they commit three to the backs, then the game's just over as well. I know this is this is such a grueling experience. I like I just want the Snorlax in here just for the uh, convenience. So the next turn they commit they commit the uh, three energies. Then next turn, no matter what happens, we just boss up backs. They have to commit three to take the knockout. Oh, they just commit two. Okay. Dude, I. We could chuck back an airy. We won't need too many pennies anymore, but it's fine. If 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 they just like, so it would kind of suck, and that sucks. What would be annoying is if they just decide like, you know what, I'm not gonna attack anymore. I'm just gonna sit here and just that. I'm sure they see the vision that I have. That is like they commit three here, then I pull up the backs. Oh shoot! I did mess that up. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I so I, I kind of want to go airy then, and pick out any airier sisters. Actually, I totally forgot about that. Um, so we put the pal pad back on top. Yeah, I totally forgot that the bundle can just get rid of itself. Like, luckily that doesn't matter because like no matter what they just hits and all the rods are down so they only have one bundle okay i totally forgot about that that was a yeah that was smart what if i could dang it this is this is annoying that i so i got a little too too aggressive probably we have pennies in deck right oh yeah we have lots and lots of So if they whiff for a turn, I probably go Palpad Eerie. I should have put the uh had the, the, the cape on. I might just I, I might go boss pull a bundle again, realize that hey this isn't gonna work. I guess if we could airy into double superior. Alright, tail slash. Can I can I get a tail sphere, please? Alright, good. Now we go airy, try to poke away some of those resources. Cyrene. This is this is awkward though if they have we still we still have two pads left. This is fine. I think. I probably should have just never taken this fast and I think playing slow is always alright. They have no energies in, in, in hand, which is kind of nuts. Alright. One superior. Um, 
Does Wavy Step ever sweep? Oh, this is so annoying. Wouldn't I just bring back the Iron Bundle? Because I'm goofy. Ah, oh, they do have energies though. That's the issue. Because they could discard the Iron Bundle, use SCR. Honestly, though, it could we could just bench Jigglypuff, get this thing evolved up, Galliano to two, take this KO. I we we have to mill the last SCR for that to. Yeah, that's so they do this. I just go into the bird. Um, I yeah. I do have to be careful about Gusting Ninja. So they, they probably top decked SER. And yeah, don't want me to get rid of it. There's seven minutes though, and they have like an Iona left to like play for the tie, which kind of sucks. Dang. Should I have gone Luminion, let them hit it and penny it out? But I can't like pick up this this Pidgeot all that easily. They hit, they, they hit tails. Okay. Yeah, now they, now we just pull up. We just boss the Radiant Greninja, right? But, then, but they set up two kills at once. How many energies are remaining? Dang it. This is so hard. Why does it have to be this hard? We're... we're, we're Yeah. I can't play this slow, dang it. Bruh. I'm scuffing this so bad. We have we have we have a penny in there. Oh dang it, I'm like taking too much time. Yeah, I know, I need I need the uh the cape small while to to get where I wanna go right now. I mean, this is a game I always win in BO3 50 minutes. Okay. Ugh, I can't penny back to back turns, which is sort of scary. I did, why didn't I go keep? I'm so silly. I'm so silly. Yeah, I think I'm... I'm definitely playing this bad. <laughs> I'm playing this very bad. So if this Tail Smash hits, do I just threaten the Wigglytuff KO? Go I to one KO Babero. Cape Wiggly. They wouldn't have enough energies left to win the game. Okay, that's that's the move. And if they preemptively drop their energies, they could lose as well. So. Let's grab this. Oh, no, we can get Turb next turn. Let's try to just chuck back in. Good cards. Play fast, play fast, play fast. Oh, I don't want to commit the fire. Oh, well, that's, 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 that's what it is, I guess. Oh, I'm not very happy with my um, quality of play here. <laughs> I just need to not get too, super tilted over it. So if they do hit heads, we take this KO. I own them, them down to one card. And they would have six energies left, which kind of get them KO. All right. This is fine. And let me just try to KO backs like three turns in a row or two turns in a, in, in a row.
Okay, I'm not even gonna thin. I'm just gonna like slam down cards. I don't even know why I played that, but I played it anyway. Um, Airy could could be good. Maybe. Four minutes. Four minutes. The boss is nice. I got way too hasty with this though, trying to achieve a faster win condition. I have friend tackle for 250. Now one card in hand, six enemies left. They can't even one shot Wigglytuff. And no gust left. So now I just go bot I just start KOing backs. Because the the, the Mawile gave it plus 90. And they have no energy recovery. So this, like any con conceal cards, is just loss of an energy. It's not like four rods in here. It's only three. Just... The backs. Okay, I'll just. I mean, I should have probably gone gone power pad, but it's fine. I don't think we're gonna finish. I almost now I attached the fire active. Well played me. I can seal cards. I was only five energies left. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're. I mean, it does not matter. They can't ever win this game. They're just playing cards, which kind of sucks. Like they're not. They're not slow playing, but they're also not trying to resolve the game either. And then next to we, we we slap the 260. Dang, it's gonna be a tie though. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be like two turns short. I mean they're doing the torch strat and doing pointless actions. I'd say that this I think this Pidgeot list is one of the better ones out there. This, this isn't classic slow play, but it's it's the uh, the toward flavor of slow play. Like, can I call a judge for this? They just, I mean, I pr probably not. But it feels bad. Please double tails. Thank you. I missed by a few turns earlier. Yeah, I could have. I should have definitely. I'm two turns away from winning. Actually, the point of cloth in this deck, yeah. I'm after after this 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 game's done. Cause yeah, just just now hit time like two turns away. If it's plus three turns, we always get there. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> Even after time's expired, they still just play cards. Disappointing. I should have gone for this a little earlier to play for the win. Like as soon as soon as they burnt the superior. Now I have one too tough right now. Yeah, 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 it's 
it's all good i like some like some, i can't be too mad about it because like i could have also played more aggressively to not tie and the route that i chose to not to try to not tie was not the most efficient way to go about it so i should have gone for the wiggly play a lot earlier but the those yeah it's fine so 4 401 would have liked to get the dub there, but it's alright. <laughs> like literally one turn off a la Wiggly. This is Tina, isn't it? Tina with Spiritomb. Dang. Yeah, it feels kind of bad because we were so close. But yeah, they they realized that it was not gonna not gonna end and that's that's okay we're gonna we'll just win the next two and i do the last one invalid name that's helpful oh i'm probably full on friends or they're full on friends let's see if i can delete some people let's try to delete some people no let me delete people But the point of cloth is after we KO both Archeops or all the or two Minchinos against Lugia, we use it to knock out their last loaded up Minchino, and then we can sort of penny loop it for the rest of the game and run them out of energies. Um or we can go back into, into Chi, but mainly it just knocks out the um well, that last Chinchino and uh, makes it harder for them to close out the game. Okay, well, their friends was my my people then. Or no, it was mine. Cool, it, it, it was mine. I'll delete a couple more and then reset. I guess I haven't been too. I haven't been deleting people as much these last few streams. Okay. I'm just going fast. I've always always apologized if I deleted you. It was, it, it was not personal. But yeah, that, that Wiggly Tough line is what we're going to try to do if they don't bench the barrel. Um, because they don't want to lose to Retreat Lock. Because, like, they always would have lost that game to Retreat Lock if, um, if we had a lot of extra time. <laughs> they, they haven't got the friend request yet either or not, not in the in the game really oh they're really like dope so tina with tomb but not temple so i want to get the wiggly i feel like i probably have to go first in this matchup just because like tomb is such a big threat um, to my entire setup. I probably, I probably want to go first. Like, also if I go second, they can't really play the game. Only two Poffins. Let's run our resources, then finish with Wiggly. Not exactly. Uh, but that can be it. In that particular case, yeah, it was we ran them out of resources, so we started swinging with a Wiggly. There we go. Okay. Any friends? Um, any people on my friends? I wouldn't remove. I don't think so. I mean, there's, there's. I mean, I guess people that I regularly test with, because I would have to re-add them. That would be it. I mean, this is like, there's like people who I, I know are in chat frequently that I would like try not to delete because like they're always in chat. So, oh, they sent it. Okay. We got glitched. But yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. Let's just win.
Let's just win. So these are you? I'm sorry. I forget who people are sometimes and I just... It's going fast. It's, it's not personal. Bottom table feeder. I actually never faced you, Sniper. That's true. I'm glad we're going first because this would be totally over. <laughs> going second. <laughs> Oh, if they would open tomb, I would I would have cried. All right, classic draw instant charge. The classic instant charge into three dead cards. Oh, gross. Yeah, just straight away tomb like raiding Greninja Comfy. Now nah, let's get the tomb and they have the poffin. They're kind of cooking. I've seen I've been seeing a lot more Tina's with Tomb lately. A pitch of water. Are they playing two or three waters? Do I have to be worried about Moonlight Shuriken? It just sucks to start slowly against these lost box decks. I guess, I guess we have Cape, but now we can go Cape to Pidgeot to like survive a lost mine. But like that doesn't feel great. I'd rather save the cape for something where it could be a little more impactful. But I guess keeping Pidgey on the board would be pretty good. I guess they can't abyss seek, but they could spit. So if they spat, I'd probably have to penny out the road time, go into like Mawile, give up the prize. That kind of sucks. Top deck Pidgey or Nest Ball would go pretty crazy. Alright, two in the zone. Yeah, just the spits. Oh, I guess I can't even instant charge, so I don't even necessarily have to protect the uh, Rotom. Oh, yeah, it's just him. It's very, very bad, actually. What do we even do? I don't want to just hand them two prizes. This sucks. And we could penny back into Chi, but then we're just in the same spot again next turn. I don't really know what else we can do. This is really bad. Um. I guess we bench that so they Tina V so we can push it up. Oh, this is frustrating. The tombs, the tombs is putting in work. Uh, they evolved to the Tina. Maybe Cape Mimikyu could. Um, bias time? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I guess if they... Yeah, this is going to be very, very bad. So they could just Requiem the Mimikyu. I I, is it even worth it to Penny Stall for another turn? I guess Bravery Charm works. Wow, those are some good cards. You said anything else going on. Ugh. The vacuum. Well, I mean, there, there, there's good and bad to that. Now, cape is sticking. Keeping up price cards is not so good, though. The list is in the description. Yeah, that thing is so scary. See, even if I like top deck Arvin, I have to respect Sableye and go for Hero Cape and put it on Pidgey. Then my hand's dead again. 
Thank you, Pin. Oh, it's, this is so bad. Now I think we we push up Mimikyu, pull up the, the Tina. Yeah, it should be in the description. Actually, Lean's no good. Uh, I guess we Yakumo out the, 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 the energy? Bruh. This sounds a little low, okay. Yeah. This is probably, yeah, this is, this kind of, yeah, this is over. Should have just had uh, one last round though, instead of, <laughs> so we just dodged this, this matchup. I don't think T, like, Tina itself isn't a bad matchup, but this card's a pretty bad matchup. Um. I didn't even like, like being three prizes down with no bosses gotten rid of. Now they're useless top deck. I think we're gonna have like top deck Ion and like and like high roll into everything. That's like the only Yeah, the instant like if the instant charge would have got us a little farther, like we could have got like Arvin off of that instant charge and we could have gotten Pidgey. Had the forest seal stone. Yeah, tomb did its job. Um, but there's like a cool thing on Limitless. Like there's like a, a, a rewards tab, and they send their codes through through that if you uh, win any. <laughs> no problem, Owen. Spit innocently. Oh, I've like, I don't know how many turns it's it's been. It's been like five or six turns. I mean, I, I had an instant charge. I like drew for turn like three or four times. It's like no good cards like the top seven. Yeah, now they probably just have boss like and just boss and requiem here, or boss and lost in or boss and lost impact. They wouldn't even requiem. Yeah, this this is not a good game. Come on, top deck Arvin. Um, top deck Arvin or four seal stone now just for the memes. I guess we top deck Iono, counter catcher up, spirit tomb. Nah, they still always have Requiem if we can't do anything about it. There is Nest Ball. That's a little late for anything. Um, so yeah. Well, hold up. I don't know why I grabbed that, but I did. Anyway, tempting trap win wins us the game. I'm pretty sure they have, I mean, they have, whatever, we'll, uh, play to our, our outs would be, yes, great, wonderful, somehow both remaining jet energies are, are prized, right, dang, I'm lucky, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was that was very bad. Bro, did he throw the GG in chat? Come on, dude. W Toronto shirt? Uh, yep, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this doesn't look good. It was not very good. Yes. I would I would not call that game good, but I guess it was an easy easy game for them. So, yeah. I guess I I can see it. What I tied to I tied to a Chimpao. Um, I could have probably played a little more decisively and gotten there though if I would have been 
I I would probably my resistance is probably pretty pretty good too. So just gotta lock in and win the next two. But I'm gonna refill my water, get something to eat, take a step back real quick. But yeah, go right back. The gaming has recommenced. Uh, 
Um, no more losing. Losing is cringe. Um, already enough losing for today. Yes. Uh, no, no, no more of that. That stuff is just not good. 6 0 ancient box. Dang, man. I would, I would take an ancient. Uh, okay. Yes. I, I, I didn't miss anything. That's good. So there's like 10 minutes left in the rounds. Uh, dang, Spy Dops or Venomoth at 4 1. Oh, I feel like Lugia would be a pretty tough matchup for Venomoth. I guess they do play the, the Temples. What would be the uh, win con? It would be trapping a Luminion, like giving it a ton of retreats and temple, but they still could just attach energies and hard retreats. So even that wouldn't work. Who's door? Door is the goat. Um, so... Is there anyone else that could be 411 aside from the purse? I guess there could be some some ties. But yeah, right right now there's this person could be. I wish this person would have won. That would have been pretty good. So yeah, all the all the Roy Moon decks doing super well. We're just gonna have to get 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 that dub next round. That like tie totally threw me off. Now I'm like all I don't know. I'm all discombobulated now. I like I feel like tired all of a sudden or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the yeah. It's bad. What, what what I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's just not good. It's not optimal. Base. Maybe ancient box is good. I'm not an ancient box believer. I should have a backward image to the door when I leave. I could. But you gotta pay extra for the for the door. You lost before Top Gun going to 23 LA Rams. Hey, what's your what's your record? Oh, you're 4 2. Rip. Tragic. Man, the doesn't doesn't Noivern just beat this? Like they have so little gusts. How much do you do you have to pay? How much do you have? I'm just kidding. Um, a lot. Surprise it twice, complete trash. Okay, I'll I'll re remember that. Um, are like the gouging fire could oh i guess this this person could be 411 if 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 they lose so we would likely pair into them which would be a pretty good matchup like stall or not solve can i can't believe i said that i apologize to anyone i might have hurt by calling control stall um they don't have yakimo and i do they don't have buffalo and i do um they have yeah this would just be we just do the uh, thing Reading from your decks, man. The rage quits. Every three, three, your Iron Hand Smash gave you the win. Oh, I thought you, uh, I thought you said you. I'm confused. Wait, that 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 looks so weird. It says three o two. Wait, what happened? How are they? Wait, how are they three o two? But it says 401. Which one is it? What's the Cloth and Jigglypuff line for? The uh, Wigglytuff is pretty good against Lugia, against Lost Box, um, Chin Pao. Uh, um, what? There's, there, there's more. I gotta think of them. My head. Uh, it can be good against Future, good against Arc. Um, what games has the cloth helped you? It was very good in that game I, I faced Lugia. It was very good there. Oh, so they... That's crazy. Like, they got... Um... 
I guess we uh we, we maybe could face them, but that's kind of funny. They get way up paired to the 5 0, and then it's uh, but because they had a oh, okay. So it paired, but then you reset it to a tie. Is that is that how it worked? Okay, well, my Shin Pao opponent won. It's Path Ribbon Nets. Wow. Um, no, because we wouldn't just use it that way. So the the goal with, with, with the Wiggly Tough against um, Lugia is like if, if they, we can, or we try to knock out both Archeops, it get the, the Wiggly Tough gets three hits. And then we knock out their big load up Chinchina with, with Cloth after we've killed both Archeops. If they want to preemptively load a ton of energies in play uh, to try to one hit our Wiggly Tough or even two hit it, we would instead uh, gust down their uh, Chinchinos first and knock them out. Because then if we knock out all their Chinchinos, they have no big attackers left. So looping Chi Yu or Cloth can win the game. Plus, I'm having. They can't really build up attackers. Because we have the Yakumo. I'm actually not sure if the Yakumo is necessary or not. Um, it might not be. It could be a potential cut. I'm not sure. Well, that's kind of strange that the other person didn't call charge until the round started. And against C Pow, it's it, it, if they're not gonna bench the barrel, uh, we can't win with retreat lock. So a good play in the end game for us can be going caped wiggly tough, I own them low. And knock out a back's caliber and they would need to have what they need to have um, eight energies off of a three card hand or whatever to knock out that wiggly stuff is just not happening so then we the, like after that we, we can just chase the uh, other backs that they might have down we can airy their hands like it's pretty hard for them to come back from all that uh one area is enough because we still have like the luxury for the hand control too. I don't think we'd ever play two areas. DF has lost Sard and lost Tina. I think that's those are a little. I mean, looking at win rates, not best. Um, but I I think like that's like maybe a decent like a decent metric to tell like what decks are like maybe underrated or underplayed. Like if they have a Relatively low usage rate, but a high win rate. How does control slash stall do against those? I feel like as control, I feel fine into those two. But I just lose to a Tina because they had two. It would, it would be kind of crazy if like we all thought Tomb was gone because Mew was gone, and everyone puts Tomb back in their decks, or a lot of people put Tomb back in their decks. It's, it's it's good against the uh, uh, control install decks. And it's like okay-ish in the Charizard and Lugia. That would be... That would be pretty funny if that was the way that it worked. Lost Team does surprise me. I, I, I don't think it's that bad. Like it's, it's obviously it's not not like contender for BDIF anymore, but I think it's like still viable, it's still a solid deck. Tina always wins versus control. They play smarts. I don't think that's a very good take. Control has a, has a lot of ways that they can mess with the uh, the uh, Tina player. Skill issue. <laughs> Man, Mirage is not holding anything back. Eesh. Oh my wait, it's Pidgeots versus it's 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 a wiggly tough mirror. Oh it's not wiggly tough mirror. I thought it was rip. Yo, Mirage, where, like, where do you think uh, Tina ranks right now? Like, if you were to put a number on it, what's... I don't think Tina's an A. Like, I, I wouldn't put Tina in, like, A tier. Like, if you're, like, make, make a tier list. Like, like it's, not, it's, like, not a, a tier 1 deck. Maybe tier 1.5.
but like the Lugi matchup seems sketchy. I can see future hands potentially going off the rails. I uh, see power would be close. Uh, the Arceus decks are probably okay, but Judge plus Judge and Airy and reading Gardevoir, like that, that would be pretty bad for you. Like, Stall is not as good as it, as, as it used to be. I mean, Charizard's still really good. Like, it's it's nothing that, like, seems super exceptional or phenomenal. But it's, like, I, it's, it's a deck that's definitely gonna exist and be okay. But it's, like, it's still kind of a 50-50 deck, I guess. Like, it, I, it, but it probably has more matchup it just straight up wants to avoid this format than it did last format. I feel like the like the big pull to its Cena last four it was like was just being in like every game every matchup and not really the case anymore. I think BDF not ranking usage is control counter box. I think BDF with infinite possibility. I'm I don't I don't hate the uh control BDIF take. Did, did, did you tie Rubik? Or, I don't know, you lost. We'll check it out. Bro's got sauce. Three switches. And the uh, big Charizard. Yo, this actually be, be, be kind of tough. Got the got the Riz as well. Got Team Yoach here. So kind of a lot of boss. Hit Pal Pad. Binder drop Charizard goes crazy. Find your drop Zard. All right, let's just. I wonder if we get paired into the four or two. I would take that. <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty bad. Like it's super jank Zard list. And... Would I ever consider playing in this deck? I don't. I would. Don't think I'm ever playing Diva. We did not get paired into the other person. We had down paired into a lost pile. Playing Hoopa. So it's harder to use Wigglytuff. Bouflon could be pretty good here. Luxury is pretty good. Okay. Well, not the matchup I necessarily wanted to see, but I think it's okay. It's fine. I, I, I think this is okay. Let's just set it better than we did last round. I guess isn't that hard. That's the Timulus that break with five mulligans. I didn't really take a too close look at it. Is it like, are there key cards missing? All right. Yeah, we just want to just set a better. With, with, with only three darks, I guess, like, if they do go Hoopa. We, we could definitely exploit that with with, with Bufalons. If, if they don't go Hoopa, Miss Energy Wigglytuff is super good. I'm pretty sure this is this is our our opponent. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like a super bricky list. Yay! <laughs> I remember to just change the, the thing. We have to go in first. What happened to the Galarian Stunfisk in control? Like, <laughs> I don't. Did anyone like play Stunfisk to begin with? Oh, the Zardless. Okay, I just missed that. Okay. There was that that Timmy list. Okay, that was definitely a. Uh, do they play bundle? They do. So it feels kind of bad to go. 
Pidgey because it's going to get spat in all likelihood. Ugh. Rough opening hand. Alright, that's actually not too bad. We could just go Ultra Ball for Pidgey, play Airy instance. Oh, it's just kind of... It's, it's an easy card to play around. Like, it's just as simple as not putting down a... Or just not putting down a stadium, because most times you don't have to do that. Yeah, I do remember some people talked about it, like, especially when Luminous Energy got revealed. It's just sort of an Im impractical card. Do I think putting any time into the list is worth it in the long term? It definitely could be. I, I mean, like, I'm doing it. So, <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Not sure, uh, yeah, not sure if that means anything or not, but I think it's pretty good. I've been playing it for like the last week. If they whiff spit this turn, we'd be very gaming. Yeah, I guess they don't have chorus if they're hard retreating like that. And they're already down a couple energies. Like that's kind of cool. Iron hands. I guess Iron Hands is never the never the best option in this matchup. Like Raikou is always better. I mean Amp is Amp could be okay. What does Buffalo do? It um it sends energies to the lost zone. So in a matchup like this, we can just get rid of energies for the entire game. They whiff attack. Send another water to the zone. Sheesh. Like double gate would just totally stop any kind of explosive next turn from them the pal pad and rod are both important cards too i think we go double gauge just so there's no pressure uh, we get down the page and be in the charge all right got arvin uh Yeah, so the, the Buffalon, like, also the Cloth, like, requires that they attack it, so they might not, they might only, like, one energy laying in play. And, like, the, the, the Buffalon more aggressive, like, the Cloth is much more passive, where the Buffalon, like, more aggressively gets, gets rid of things. And they also just can't get it back. We yeah, lost on it. They can't even ninja us, so. They lost on Chorus sort of interesting but they didn't immensely slam down another chorus i wonder what they have have cooking vacuum that's a pretty big card like they're burning through these energies but not playing chorus so th that had to have been a good card just just, just what was it? it's super you play four of those. <laughs> Another airy would be really good. We know there's rod and pad at the very least. Uh, but not not happening right away. Ultra ball. We can get the uh get the uh, bravery charm maybe. We don't need mobile. So what's the other card? Could just be nests. Yeah, it probably is nests. With bird. Them like getting a prime catcher play could be kind of annoying. I'm catching my my bird with with Raiko. I I like building like whatever we do. Building Buffalon seems kind of good. I probably should have got the cape actually, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm a little concerned that they can just chase the Abufalon next turn. Because it, it could have been like Chorus or Prime Catcher. 
or not chase the chase the the Pidgeot is what I'm more concerned about. But they would still need one of their two gates. It's the strangest judge calls tonight. What kind of uh, what kind of crazy stuff's been happening? I'm uh, I'm curious. Yeah, I think next turn, we 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 could go for Airy, since we know there's at least Super Rod Palpat in hands. Raikou hits the board. I'm hoping it's not Raikou Rod Prime, and that would be really bad. I should have grabbed Cape, and we'd be kind of chilling, but. I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, Scoville one seems kind of mid. Yeah, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking the, uh... Thinking they probably hit us with the Prime Catcher, I'm assuming. There's no way that they load this. I mean, if they load to take care of the fish, we're totally okay. The Rescue Board. That's no prime catcher. Could be boss though, I suppose. No, just a Rondo. Okay. Okay. This this is pretty solid. I want a power pad back in Airy and Silene. I guess right now, well, yeah. We could go bench the Wiggly Tough. Is that really good though? I don't know if it is. And we just play, play. Oh no! Like we quick surge for the Cape. Lost in Lightning Energy. All right. One second, chat. I'm like. Trying to hyper focus in here. Ah, uh, yeah, misplayed. Should have gone for the cape off the Arvin last turn. I'm, I'm big cooking. But yeah, they have. We only have the one lightning remaining, and only one gate remaining to go hunt it out. Um, are you asking me if I'm going for World's Moonlight or <laughs> the other gamers in chat? I don't, Scoville, there's no way Scoville is better than Wigglytuff. Wiggly, like, you definitely underestimate what Wigglytuff does. Yeah, okay, I just, I've been, like, paying attention to the game, and I look over chat, and I see, like, a question, and I'm missing context. The buddy Poffin. And concealed feels feels. Yeah, well, I guess they still have they still have two rods. Concealed doesn't feel that bad. There's chorus. I mean, it, it would be difficult for them to have it all, but it that yeah definitely still possible. You yeah, someone claimed the opponent was using a lag switch and booted them from the game. What? You would have zero way to prove that. Oh no. They have to hit the last lightning to get there, but this is kind of bad. Should I have caped this? I don't know. I'm like. <laughs> I feel like I've probably messed this up multiple times now. Like, I probably should have gone for Wiggly Tough Lat or Jigglypuff with that Nest Ball. Uh, but yeah, we're just. Full on trolling right now. My uh, lack of sleep the last few days is definitely a catchy cup to me. Bro was 2-2 two, two and just had had enough. The uh, losses were piling up and Bro was not happy. This probably is, is Cramorant, right?
kind of sucks that like that Iono got them there. Well, I assume it got them there. They're like not. I mean, they, they should have it. There's no way that they do all this and not have it. Oh, look over the moon. Did they lost in a dark? Okay, not yet. But they're actually bench locked out of out of uh, the thing. Why didn't I charm the booth and cape the Pidgeot? Because I'm cringe. And winning is overrated, I guess. I don't know. I just... This is a classic all-out throwing game. <laughs> I really have no clue. I just... I've yeah, done a lot of things this game that don't make any sense. Alright, Super Rod. Probably the Pal Pad. Do we care about Pal Pad or we just rather the cart? Probably the cart. So they, they only have the one rod left. There are z zero gates left though. Uh, is that true? I'm pretty sure there's still one. Did they lost in a gate? No, they still have one left. I would be totally chilling if they didn't have a gate left, but still it's like not a great spot for them. I just not the Oh, they didn't want to hard to treat the energy off. Yeah, I I totally scuff this game. Want to like, appreciate you. I could go counter catcher and loss in that dark next turn and Make things maybe awkward for them. I play 10 total energies. Three in the discard. Four. I guess they only have two energies left. They really have to find that rod. And we send another to the loss on this. I guess it's all just going to come down to that rod. Top the sister mill the rod one time. How many switches they have remaining? Three cards, two switch. Only the one cart remaining as well. A luxury fang snipe could could go pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm like I can't even like. There's really yeah, I totally messed up this game. So really no uh, no no excuse is possible. I don't even think Jigglypuff's that good. Wiggly might be. Yeah, I don't think it is. Chi could be kind of good, though. Alright. Does that even matter though, honestly? Wait, hold up. Am I just like totally trolling? Why well, didn't want them to be able to switch hard retreat, get the energy back into the deck? Because then if they have both darks in hand, they're kind of screwed. <laughs> this is going to be a close finish, and it definitely should not have been. It should have been a, just a clean and easy dub. Yeah, this was this was scuffed. <laughs> this was very very scuffed. I guess if like Dark Energy's prize, if Rod's prize, if Gates prize, even Switch being prized, like I guess Switch wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And maybe we have to have boss. Can I talk to Toptic Fire, please? Can I get bailed out? What if I retreat, though? And lead.
Lead seems good. Um, I don't even know what, what I would get with this actually. I don't know why lead was good, but it was good apparently. Um, sure, I should have definitely instant charge. I'll have doof. <laughs> Wait, like, and they can't do anything to the boof a lot. They can't gouge it. They can't calamity it. Yeah, what am I even doing? <laughs> I don't know. I should have sat there and instant charged. I mean, they're out of cards in deck. Yeah, now can they e e even win? Because they had to go rod, but then they couldn't gape two darks. Imagine the darkest prize and they're just cooked. We know there was one in hand, but I don't know why they would have waited to attach it. I guess they, they can't even go concealed rod anymore. Dude, if we win this game, I had zero right winning this game. Like, I played like absolute trash. I had no right winning this game. I mean, the match was good and my opponent overcommitted, so... Yeah, we gotta walk in here. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that was terribly played. <laughs> okay, I think I might need more coffee. That might be the move. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we gotta actually play Pokemon correctly. Uh, but that was that was trash. They must have had something good prize. We we definitely got bailed out by but by, by something. Is there a stream tomorrow? Actually, I don't know. Is there is there a tournament tomorrow? <laughs> um hey, there's a fifty dollar tournament? Yo. Drink a monster? No. I'm I, I think I'm gonna go get coffee though. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just not focused and it's like really bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go get coffee real quick. I have some upstairs. Uh, thing i'm pressing buttons buttons are good door stream y'all want you want y'all want a door stream right.
hope y'all enjoyed your door stream. Um, but yeah, door stream's over. Y'all, y'all better be grateful. <laughs> Rare footage of door with computer light. Oh, yeah. That was see that was that's a little teaser. If you wanna if you wanna join via Patreon and get access to twenty four hour door streams, five dollars a month. You make more coffee. No, I had some pre made, so I just poured it and drank it. It was broken. Yeah, I think like twelve hours of streaming like the last few days is like starting to catch up to me, and my brain just doesn't want to work. So hopefully by just consuming way too much caffeine my brain will work and we can actually win um because losing is cringe you don't want to lose but also um yeah just just don't lose i don't even know what i'm saying i'm just saying words um yes words words are are good so yeah three 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 matches to go it was some great contents Oh great! I'm glad. I'm I'm glad y'all really in, enjoyed yourself. Imagine losing in 2024. That's that that's real. Who are the Brazilians on top? Um, all of those people. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if those are. Uh. If that's anyone, uh, you know, but we'll show. Batman and Robin is the and Blitz. Like, hey, I'm Robin. Dang. Door is the star of the show. That's kind of sad. My door is the uh, bigger appeal than I am, I guess. There's a couple Brazilians on top, or do doing well. <laughs> this is so jank. Arc Drago, six oh one. Fire. Yeah, they 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 totally cooked me. They totally cooked me. Let's see, Moon versus Stall, excuse me. Um, does the Stall play Man I think if they played Man it would be. Yeah, that'd be kind of tricky. Because they could probably spread all their energies out too, right? How many do they play? Nine? Yes, yeah, so they couldn't like bench lock out of. out of retreat lock. That would be pretty tough. Yeah, so I don't know if we get up paired to a 6-1. We probably do. We like, just got down paired that last round, so I don't really know how that works. Because we can't face the same 5-1-1 again. Can I show what was my mashes? Sure. I've uh, succeeded in dodging Charizard. I love dodging my best mashup. <laughs> it's been some weird stuff tonight. Seven unique decks. Um, The Chin Pao, we were like one turn away from that not being a tie. Should have played a little more decisively, and the Tino was them getting turn one tomb, and uh, <laughs> that just totally locked me out of the game. Been some uh, strange stuff happening. Okay, well, no, no ties, so we are. Let's see how many six and ones are there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight six ones are better, but they can't all ID because the two five one ones could probably swipe spots, right? I mean, my resistance is really good, theirs is pretty good as well. So, some of these lesser six one ones might not want to tie. But did that slow max end up winning? Oh, they lost. Rip, that's why Charizard toasted you. That was crazy. That Charizard list, I mean, it's not a very good Charizard list, but it sure does good against control. I guess we can take a, a brief glance at the other tournaments that are happening. Um, Arc Drago again. And Arc Drago maybe is is Sauce got double eliminated by um by C Pow, Tinkaton. I guess it's only two and two, but this this C Pow gamer is doing really good. Any any spice in here? Nah, it's just like regular sea pal. Regular old sea pal. Broken. Thirty-two out of thirty-two. Let's get it. Wait, is the the spider ops venomoth is six one? 
I wonder how I would do into this. Because, like, I could put the thing on so they don't... Like, I put Vest on and they couldn't do any damage to me, but they do have a lost vacuum. But still, I could trap. Uh, we least have to start taking knockouts. They have lots of temples, which would be annoying. Well, it's... It is a Neuvern user, which is definitely pretty good right now. Um... I don't really know about like why Vulpix, because I feel like some of your weaker matches would be Lugia and Tina, and that doesn't really fix it. So I feel like you should already be beating Zard. Uh, yeah, I don't really. I guess Sea Pal could be tougher, but also just Noivern is pretty difficult for them. But Cloth is weak to grass, so they could just load up a spy up. So we got down paired. To future. Well, they play no switches and no psychic energies, so iron crowns are just stuck. They did you play a Turo though? So we would need a Mawile twice potentially. Okay. What's my one running Coridon for a Shred Attacker to hit through Mimikyu? <laughs> Sniper's trying to get some video game time in. Alright. So. Future's gonna be interesting. Why is he going to tear over Penny? I don't know. Yeah, there's literally no downside to it. There's no like upside to discarding the energies. I guess it fuels Reboot Pod, but that's so niche. Yeah, that doesn't seem very good. On Texas Showdown, congrats. We were just looking at that. You, you, you beat that CPAL in finals. Nice. All right, so we have to win it in, probably, up against Future. Not like a... Because they're not even playing Prime either, so they just have that Turo. So I actually kind of feel like I could go Pidgey then in this matchup. Like a Pidgey helps me chain back to back. But still it's like a three prize potential liability. We'll see how like the opening hand breaks. Cause like I want to go Wiggly or Cloth to like sort of force them to put down their damage modifying Pokemon. I want to flip. Okay, going second seems amazing. And they only have three electric generators, which is kind of goofy. Oh, I don't like either one of those starters, but the hand's pretty good. I guess like Chi Yu, if, if they want to be able to amp it, they have to mention a ton of crowns, so. And they should have open iron crown, so. Double Mawile is game let's see if they decide to just go all the crowns because the thing is if they don't want to bench any crowns retreat locking uh maridon with vested uh mawile is also a potential play they, it looks like they are going multiple crowns here at least grabbing them they are benching them so they do not play psychic energy so they're gonna try to play aggressively forest off the top what if we went airy here? We like Ultra Ball the way Ultra Ball. Feels kind of scuffed. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Cape is prized. Mawile is in there. Rotom's not in there. So I think we probably actually go Heavy Ball. Heavy Ball for the Rotom. I wonder if they just ever try to play so aggro against me and um I guess that might be what they're what they're going for is just like try to chase me off the board. To be honest, Aerie is really not that good in this matchup. So we actually could probably hold the forest. 
Now, this is the thing. I think we do it. As much as it sucks, we do it. Because, like, yeah, just, just the way everything's lined up. If, and if we use Mawile into an Iron Crown, they have to play Turo, and then they're not playing Boss. So, we, we, we have potentially the Mawile play next turn. Okay, why is my Limitless page frozen? That sucks. How can I look at my chat if my page is frozen? They're not doing anything. They attach to the active. Well, that's really good. If they're just dead, we can really capitalize on that. They just have nothing happening. Hit us with the angry emoji. Okay. How do we best punish this? Can we? We cannot quite get Mawile. We're an energy short, so let's. We 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 can't do that this turn. But let's go put an energy on active. So the play is available next turn. We go Gus knockout like all that, and then we just instant charge, and then next turn we have. Mawile re re retreat lock and we can start gaming because presumably that they don't have that capsule in it okay well they top deck arvin get some capsule i could let them peak acceleration i guess but but yeah like literally they're just they're just gonna sit there and wait for a turo and while, while they do that, I just build my hand to have the immediate Mawile answer right back. And we would just win. They're going to play aggressively, it looks like. Try to use Iron Hands this turn. They only hit one. But I guess that does get them to arm press. But how? I mean, they they can't one hit. I mean, I guess they, they, I guess they could, but like, all right. Sorry, chat. I've been ignoring y'all. Um, do they do not play any kind of switch outs, or they, or they play one Professor Turo. That's it. And they bench two crowns, so we just have to double Mawile. Cause I wanted to instant charge. Like milling never actually matters. They go back into the Maridon. The reboot pod. They could have arm pressed if they wanted to, but they did not want it. Yeah, I just have to Mawile twice in a row. So we quick search for quick search for and we, we have everything in hand already. I guess we like pocket super rod. And sure, but. Uh, we can power pad back in the. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. Because they can put their one turret amp for two, but then we just immediately answer back with the mobile again. Yeah, reboot pod is really bad. Well, I guess reboot pod isn't bad. It's just comparatively to prime catcher, the card's bad. The thing is, like, I, I wouldn't go this angle and close list. This is a matchup where it definitely helps to have open list. Because, like, this line is so risky if they play multiple switch outs. Like, I can maybe do it game two if I pick up in, in, information that they're not. Um, I also have V-Star and Quick Surge, so. I'm cool with them just burning a boss. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant. When you're talking about A-Specs, and you're, you're good. Alright, one. 
one of those things gone. Unfair Stamp's going to be a really interesting card to see how it interacts with the meta. I, yeah, I'm pretty interested to see how it goes as well. We just like grab another energy. I have to start spamming Tempting Trap. Okay, that's good. Missed energy. Tempts. So what is their, what is their list? No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, they do play the three Ionos, so it could be tough to finish this game. That'd be one thing. But they do rip an Iono here. I have such a Bravery Charm. Because it, it, the Bravery Charm doesn't matter. They, they, they amp it regardless. So I literally am just trying to make as little actions as possible. Alright, they're put, putting down more things. I suppose that's good. But they can't bench lock themselves out of an Iron Crown. There's like not a Collapse game in there. Yeah. And they're playing cards, which I suppose is good and bad. Um... So we quick surge for super rod again. My game feels like it's 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 kind of choppy. So hopefully it's the our game doesn't game it doesn't crash and nothing goofy happens. But next turn we can just grab like Arvin. Yeah, the issue for them is like they can't break up my combo with Iono and switch out in the same turn. So they're always playing. Yeah, they're, they're in a tough spot. Is there any way that we could like get them to spread all their energies out and then win with GU? Probably not. Because they also would have capsules to pivot. All right, they're playing research. They're like not just totally going for the tie. I suppose they're, they're five and two, so why would they? I mean, it'd just be a... A troll move. Yeah, if they played Psychic, this would be a lot different. But also, it's like diluting your deck down with Psychic and Gifts feels kind of bad. Like, you do want your generators to hit. Yeah, it's... There's a, there's that Turo, but it's it's all good. Just make sure we uh, sequence everything right here. Thank you very much. Yeah, they they could have maybe. I feel like they should have probably only missed one crown. At least make me have to work a little harder for the for the for the for the dub right. But then like, if they're doing that, they like, don't actually deal any damage. So that does kind of suck. I don't want to touch the uh, fire energy. I, we can save that for a Chi Yu. But yeah. We. I'm just saving it for Chi Yu to be like a faster. Uh, faster win con. Potentially. All right, well, we did it. Yeah, th th there's a lot missing from this feature list that would make the matchup so much harder. Like s s switch cards and prime catcher. You want to want to pal path? Yeah, th there's nothing that they can do. If they have like two Ionos left if they're if they want to try to play the tie game. But they can like try to boss stall Rotom, but we have energies and pennies so that never works. Um, I mean, they could slow play and try to tie it, but tying at five and two is massive cringe. But hey, they might, they might still go for it. <laughs> That's all right. We got it all on, all on stream. So if they do try to do that. Yeah. Well, they might not okay let's see it I mean, hey we'll give them the we'll give them the benefit of the doubt with that first town store 
They're probably just checking to see if they have boss left or any win conditions. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. No one here has malicious intent, obviously. We just draw a tempting trap. Oh yeah. That was pretty cringe. There's been a couple times where we like there's been I think two times where we've played where we've had like ties where like it's been blatant that the I found a slow played. The one time that really sucked was when the person was like five minutes left, I can't do anything. Like that was the worst. That one made me so mad. They didn't even give me a they didn't even uh they didn't, they, they didn't even like look at the game and see if there was slow play. They're like, ah, sorry, you should have called it earlier. When I couldn't have. And then the other one the, that was like that game grid one where they were just like, ah, five minute, all right, seven minute time diff, but Pony was making actions in a reasonable amount of time. It's, well, they, had no, they had nothing they could do. Down Stormy Mountain. We, we, we've had a couple interesting run-ins with uh, judges before. I mean, this person's playing cards, but it's also like making them lose faster. So it's like, come on. I think one I only left to put cards back in. Yeah, make this 12 card deck last 14 minutes somehow. Gotta go full, uh, nah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna like as little actions as possible to make it so like, I don't want to like have my game freeze or something in this game get wrecked. So like few action as few clicks, fewest things that could possibly go wrong. If I raw draw sisters, I'll play it. But I'm not gonna go quick search and seek it out. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll just play Vax. I can't keep pressing their, their town store. Want you to type it in Limulus? Do I mean, I used to, they split Arvin, then they, they had a town store and I check. It's getting close to me saying the uh, magic words of please don't slow play. We're getting it's if one more turn of silliness, eh, they're not actually doing that bad. We're going to they're fine. I mean, they're, they're doing stuff, but it's not like they're like really being bad about it. I mean, you can type it if, if you want a sniper, but they're not they're not there yet. Th th that might be trying to like, ease into it. OK. So it is like <laughs> I had to make sure the deck was sufficiently randomized. If they press Town Store again this turn, I will I will I will uh ask them to please not slow play. Alright, did they attach an energy? Come on, dude. All right. We. Yeah, we're like, like, they're like one action a turn. Wait a few seconds, pass it over. If you press Town Store again, buddy, you know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll, I'll say the magic words. You don't want to press that talent store. You'll, 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 I might do it anyway. Yeah, we're, we're fine. 14 is out. Uh, four, eight. You're right, but they do have a capsule left, don't they? Yes, yeah, so they could retreat them or right on. But I could just. Well, no, nah, they could just capsule it. Okay, you asked for it, opponent. You press town store. Please do not slow play. Send. 
You asked for it. Four, eight, 11, 12. But there's this card pile. Oh, it's not in this card. Never mind. I thought there was. Airy can't, can't, can't get it. Come on, dude. All right, now they're definitely doing it. I was trying to be nice and give them the benefit of the doubt, but they lost any any rep that they might have had. This is for sure slope. Like, dude, you're five and two. You've nothing to gain by this. This is. Come on, bro. This is bad. You were. I told you they were, they, they were easing into it. Yes. If you are watching stream, I, I I hope they're just doing math or something. Okay, they dropped another iron crown. Maybe they're just doing math, chat. Maybe that's. Maybe that. It's an eight minute time diff. There's no way that 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 um. Uh, <laughs> yeah this is this is bad they they were like trying for a minute and they, then, then they realized like oh yeah this is not winning for me um dude come on this has been like <laughs> this is so gross press town store dude i dare you Press town store. I'll, I will request the judge if you hit town store. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I dare you. I'm the best tournament streamer out there. I mean, not too many people stream limitless tournaments. They, they, they have one capsule left. So I can't do that just yet. Dude, you let me wait 30 seconds and then do no. Alright. I have you've left me with no choice. I must bring in. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Don't be lame. Nearly 10 minute time diff. Yo, it's magic. I call it judge and they play faster. No way. <laughs> all right we uh throw the stream in chat so even they can watch it themselves if they want to or um of course make sure sniper is in there okay press the town store again they're not even trying to hide it anymore they've gotten way too brave <laughs> you're not winning this judge call bro oh my goodness you don't like you don't need a talent store every single turn and check what five cards are remaining. Well, I know the judge is in my chat. Sniper's here, so yes, judges don't check stream. Though. That's a frustrating part of some series. Yes. Wow, magic! They play faster. The judges in chat. Let's go. Thanks. Sniper's not checking. After this turn, we'll play Sisters and we, and we could potentially win with Sisters Chi. Yeah, you can rewind and everything. It's very nice. I don't think I would. It'd be harder to stream this tournament just on Twitch because it'd be like harder to, to prove it. Ah, rip. We tried, chat. We tried. But they, but they have Ionos on the bottom three cards in deck, so if they don't top deck it, we win with Chi. No, the boss! No! Oh, no, they didn't. They both up the Pidgeots. What am I to do? Yeah, I love it. Like, as soon as the judge enters enters chat and we call the judge, it's crazy. They just play fast all of a sudden. Like, they can somehow go back and undo this 10 minute of time difference that has uh, been created. Should they boss Rotom? Yeah, but they're just trolling.
All right, cool. Hopefully they have some kind of nice excuse like they were mathing or something. <laughs> they had to check with the town store every single turn. All right, takes one one. That should be top cut. We'll have to see. We'll have to check things out. Um, my phone's not said anything, so that's good. We can. <laughs> oh, poor. Had no clue. Ten minute time difference. Just um. Oh yes, justify it. You're playing against a deck with an unorthodox win condition. So therefore, you must play slowly. That's how you get revenge on them. Remember, guys, it's not slow play, but if it's against stall slash control. They, they, they just didn't know, okay? They they just... The, the immoral thing to do is slow play versus the stall player. So yeah, y'all remember that. When you're up... When you're facing stall... The moral thing to do. It is your right to slow play. For the good of humanity, you must slow play. <laughs> I hope you all understand. English no work. All right. Shout out to uh, Sniper for being a real one. All right, there we go. 26 out of 26. Oh, they have not updated yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's gonna be one bubble. I don't think it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> It's funny. I like that. That's my favorite part. Like the people who like try to justify it. The people who play like, like just play dumb and that they got no clue. Um, but remember, yes. What we learned from the remember class, we learned from this stream. It is moral to slow play. If it, you're against stall or control. Ooh, you, you might be right. Minxies. You could be right. Not sure, but that that might be right. Like if you face any other deck that's not solar control, slow playing off limits. That is immoral and dumb. It is unjust. Don't do it. But star control. All right, enough of that. Succeed up against the Drago. Okay. I wonder how we're going to deal with this. I don't know. I do not know. Mufon seems pretty good. Mufon seems very good. Wigglytuff seems good. Cloth seems good. Yeah, what do they do about Cape's Cloth? Nothing. Yeah, Cloth is 100% the move. Cloth Penny Loop. Oh, the stream elements bot woke up wow guess what i'm putting you in timeout stream elements bot take that you thought you could show up uninvited now get out of here <laughs> <laughs> this deck is pretty good i like this deck so y'all bot trying to get try to get you to pay me money silly stream elements bot Bro got muted. It should know better. No links in chat. Silly bot. Yes. Top eight. Against Arceus Reggie Drago. Just what we drew up for us. It was Raging Bolt yesterday, and now it's Arceus Re Reggie Drago. It was just like, okay, like when I first set up the stream, I was like, ah, oh, I should put like set up a bot and stuff and give it like if it, there's a certain amount of messages it should like post links and stuff but then i'm like that's lame and i never got rid of it but it usually doesn't ever hit the message thing to activate the like i like a certain amount of messages in a certain period of time to drop the link or whatever but yes it's been timed out for 24 hours so
But like, you can you, you could like check and make sure you ha really have no win condition. But like once you've like checked like a couple of times with with town store, played some supporters, like you know that you have no option left. So like, come on, stream elements is cringe for sure. Literally just got banned. All right, cloth is gonna clutch. Y'all doubted cloth. Cape, like they literally have zero answer to cave cloth. Well, actually, we, we we put vest on Pidgeot, so it can't get one hit. But yes, cape. Did, did they send already? They did. Ooh. Cape cloth. Good. Hardcore Minecraft. That sounds even more cringe than stream elements. Yo, we have 111 in chat and 3,111 subscribers. That's sick. I don't. That's really cool. All right, let's get it. We get to go first. Yay! If bro doesn't want to lose to control, then play a couple switches. It's not not that hard. Rip a mulligan. <laughs> I yeah, that's just like the fuck. So it's like an it's, it's no accident that you get to like an eight minute time diff. So it's just like the people are just like, no, 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 no. What, what do you mean? And it's just like, dude, it doesn't just magically happen that way. Like I had no clue. So we nestle for Pidgey Forest active, and pass. Uh oh, my computer is kind of getting. Hot. The fans have turned on. This 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 is getting slightly scary. Oh, I want you. Cloth is in the deck. That's pretty neat. So is the Jigglypuff. So are Wigg Wigglytuffs. Minion, Sisters, all the pennies. Yakumo, Riz. All the energy. I don't even know what we prize, but yeah. That's not my problem. That's, that's a problem for a future Blitzel. I have to learn this deck. Hey, we're going to try. I'm I'm playing in the tournament Zoom. I believe challenge that day, but I'm, I don't want to play that format anymore. Well, I mean, control is fun in that format, but this, 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 this control is cooler. So, no. I will. I, I'll, I'll be streaming it for sure. All right, they get, get some dudes down. I guess a Trinity Charge would be quite good for them. So yeah, I do want to save the cape for the cloth, but also I do want to make sure we have... We, we can protect the Pidgeot from a boss. Luckily, there's only two boss in, in this deck. Uh, they got the Trinity Charge, that's pretty good. Explorer actually is kind of cool in our Drago. It's not not too bad actually. We we have every plus uh Pidgey here. There's Cloth just deciding to show up. Um We have the Pidgey on hand, right? Okay. I could go Yakumo as well and just like Yeah, I don't hate Yakumo either. Well, no, I need the uh, double turbo energy. Okay, let's get the uh, double turbo, actually. I take it all back. Cloth. Well, I'll do this first. Oh, their hand will be dead. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, no research for you. I mean, they could go Legacy Star, but that could be pretty destructive. Oh, right, actually, they could attach Retreats, but they have nothing that one hits. I did attach. I wanted to Fang Snipe. I guess they probably go Power Edge here. 
<laughs> Legacy Star is Explorer, but it takes two out of the discard. Any out of the discard. That's a Noivern. They go retreat Vsar kill. How? Wait, 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 with what attacker? And you, you, even if they did, it's fine. Okay, we could go. Wow, I would. I wouldn't mind setting up the booth, honestly. Or just penny up active and get Rotom on the board. Sit behind Claw. Because the hand's obviously not great. Uh, but I do kind of want to replenish my own hands. And I don't have a great answer to a cloth. No, yeah, no, nothing in their deck one hits cloth, so. Let's see what they what they uh, can uh, cook up. Yeah, uh, definitely Boof plus Riz could go really crazy. There's Arc V-Star, so... They could get a big boss knockout here on my Pidgeots. That would be kind of annoying. But they need a way to bid in Tina. They over-attach. Well, that, that makes Buffon even better. How many fires are in this deck? Three. So there is... Did they, did they discard one? No, okay. There's one remaining. Um, they just Nova. Let's see what they do with these with these excess energies. Catch the water, of course. Of course. Counterattacking pincer. Um, sure. If you want to hard retreat, I'll, I want to leave you with a uh, one energy on there. Now we now we go penny. You can probably pal pad back in double penny as well. And like I'm gonna just. I'm gonna like I gotta force him to keep swinging by attaching this fighting energy. But I do want to try to set up second Pidgeot just so there's not risk of that Tina just totally ruining my my my, my day. But I do have to like kind of try instant charging into some good stuff. To a silly Requiem. Hey, it could happen. Or they could be just trying to hold out for a legacy star. Flipping ads would be really gas, but <laughs> not not out here trying to play that risky. Don't uh don't need to gamble like that just yet. Uh do they have vac? No. They have literally zero way around this cloth. They have to keep hitting it. There's a legacy star. Ouch! That really hurts. That didn't even really get them good attackers in the uh, discard pile. What are they looking for? I don't know. Well, okay. Because now I could Penny Active Cape Pidgeot push up Mimikyu. I guess they do have... Did they go boss KO Rotom? Hmm. That's interesting. Would you like it if my cloth knocked you out? I don't think you would. I don't think you would. But now Defiance Fest is live, so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. We can just quick search. We can get Penny for the future. And we can get Defiance Vests for sure. And then other pad seems okay. And that's all could kick a mimic. You already have a pad in hands. 
All right, now Pidgeot can't get gusted down. And Cloth is, is, is going to go for it here. The Falling Press. Come on. Bad card. What a terrible card. Horrible card. Just kidding. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Cloth KO would have gone crazy. That would have been peak content. But it, they're, they're in a tricky spot because they just like pitch to... So what did they get back with, with, with the Legacy Star? I never saw. What they get? They grabbed two double turbos. Okay. Kind of attacking Pinsir. Sure. What if I just KO? Well, no, I, I couldn't. I'd be 10 short, actually. Um, quick search. The Riz could be... Nah, the Riz isn't good enough here. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm getting rather impatient. I have a I have a devious idea, chat. What would they think if I did this? I don't think they would like this, would they? They definitely would not like this. This seems very very rude. Cause they they definitely cannot keep hitting with the Reggie Dragon. They run out of energies way too fast, and only, there's only one switch in this deck. So they got to find the switch. I should, have, I should have done that last turn, actually. Or they could go double turbo retreat, but then that's also kind of a dub. I'm slow playing confirm. I gotta think. I wasn't just wasting time. I was thinking, hey. That's mean. <laughs> slow play. Yeah, that was not slow play. If you want slow play, I could show you slow play. But I'm not going to. I could just start using Fall Press, and like if they don't want to start taking, if, okay, they use Apex Dragon. What do they do? No matter what, they lose his energy, and they don't really get anything out of it. Uh, one thirty shred. I mean, okay, now now you've one fire left. Okay, this is really scuffed for them because like as soon as they, they, they go back into the arc it gets knocked out they just can see this is this is broken cloth is way too good <laughs> and this matchup cloth is so ridiculous When the, yeah, when there's... Like, they can't even really bench Reggie Drago just because, like, Cloth, ex, like, just exploits it. I think they thought that Shred would go through the... Yeah, I think they thought that. Yeah, Cape is insane in this deck. Reggie Drago is definitely a scam. I assume they want second. Or not second, I assume they, they want first. They never said... I'll type a limitless shot first or second. I assume they want first. But we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go second because I assume that's what they want. And if they get mad about it, they didn't say anything. So. Um, I'm not happy with this. It's okay. We're getting mulligans. We're getting mulligans. We're getting lots of mulligans. Yay! I am happy about this. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not very happy about this. I guess the good news is we don't have to worry about our luxury getting KO'd turn two. Okay. 
Capturing Aroma, that card's not real. That card's kind of real, I guess. Right, that's our V-Star. Hmm. No, it's not. It's Giratina. That would be the, okay, okay. They got an Ultra Ball. They're, 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 they're making a point to get the uh, Tina down early. Let's see. They're going to try to more aggressively KO my uh, Pidgeot, I think. They got the fire attachment as well. Fire is not great for them. Okay, what I'm really afraid of is them boss KOing my Pidgey next turn. So what I want to do, Cloth is in the deck. Um. Right, everything's in there. Everything good's in there. We did prize a penny, it looks like. I'm going to go boss and drag up the Reggie Drogos. Force them to have, like, play a switch already when they probably don't want to. And get to poke a card away as well. We take those. We definitely take those. They run three fires. So they have to play Turo now. And that's kind of awkward for them. And they'd have to go Starbirth for it. I mean, they could Legacy Star, but then they that runs the risk of putting them too low on energies. And I don't mind just bleeding the Luxury and just activating my own Defiance Vest, so... It's uh, nice and safe. Because they have to go DT. Oh, they top decked the Turo. So I get to. No, I guess I don't get to hold V Star uh, power if they. Yeah. So they go Birth for DTE plus some sort of Insta playable. Um, so then on my turn, we, the Minion for Arvin. Yeah, I'm just going to let this Luxury go down. Uh, so we can just try to set up the whole Cape's Cloth line all over again. HQ was the card they went for. All right, so Fang Step is, it isn't even good. They don't, they do not run belts. Yo, Pidgeot Top Deck would be hilarious because then we could use Yakumo and totally, um, Lock them out of the game for a moment. Penny. Well, it, it's 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 fine. Or a seal stone. Um. What's the other card that we want? A nest ball to get us cloth. Yeah, that seems good. Cause I'm even forest for the uh, the other thing. I don't want to get cloth right away because I don't want it to get bossed and knocked out. I see XR. So, what card do we want right here? Going Bouffalons actually could be kind of nutty as well. Like putting, considering they have one. Ah, does the cloth play is just safer? Don't need to get too fancy. Yeah, we can just do this for this turn. Pass it back over. Yeah, there's like it's important that we just pick the right one. Um, I think I I don't mind letting them knock out Luxray. Uh, cause then we get, we have Pidgeot for the rest of the game. We could Penny up Blue Mini on next turn. We can Counter Catcher up that Reggie Drago. Uh, so feeling pretty good. Can we play that Mobile? I don't think so. Do they have any really broken Reggie Drago attack that they could use? No. Do they like take the bait here? Because they sort of have to. I mean, they don't have to, I guess. But, like, what are they doing if they're not taking this KO? They're just sitting there. And then I can eventually just, like, start using Chi Yu and really, really make them have to do something. So, 
Uh, the the play for this turn will be. Pidgeot, Quick Search, right? And they kind of can't aggressively commit Fire Energies as well. Um, Pidgeot, Quick Search for like Fighting Energy, just so we like have that offensive threat. Yeah, their hand's not likely uh, good cards. Penny, pretty good. So let's go get ourselves a Fighting just to be able to. Um, or we could go like, no, no, no. We have to. We're not playing Penny this turn. I don't think actually getting a fighting does a lot. I think we're probably just better off grabbing like Pal Pad. I'm gonna pick up the Luminion so boss isn't a KO. Defiance best Defiance best up the bird. And now if they just want to sit around and just wait until they find boss, then we start loading up the cloth. Yeah, Buffalon's not the play yet, if at all, this game. Because they, they're but both their switch and their turret is gone, so they either just keep hitting this thing and lose energy, lose attacker. They just sit here and wait until they find boss, and then I can just start loading up cloth and start swinging. They do find a boss's orders. Boss on consecutive turns would be kind of scary. So I think we probably want to. Oh, they could go for the silly sleep thing. They can make me go take a nap. Oh no. I don't like nap time. I do not like nap time. No, it's nap time. Double heads. Plot armor. Oh, plot armor. Nap time sucks. We should have played around it and I uh, grabbed mist. Hmm. Okay, it's 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 okay. They spent a boss. You're not getting your two prizes that easy. Alright, I have to like we have to yeah now change of plans. I don't want them to hit hit the 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 the, the, the cloth while we're kind of vulnerable here, so yeah, we have the Sharon. And if they spend the other boss stick with the one prize kill on Pidgey, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, the, the Altaria is pretty pretty nasty. I need to put I need to get a mist on my Pidgeot then. Was that HQ their only stadium? Yeah, that was it. They did not find that baby. Oh, they did. They did find the baby Karai. Okay. Well, so we put up cloth. We Luminion for Arvin for candy. We get Mist Energy on the Pidgeot. We will uh, learn our lesson here. Let's make sure the other candies in the deck. That would have been quite the goof had there not been a candy in there. I don't think one was uprised. Yeah. Okay. So we Luminion, we go get Arvin. And Arvin gets us candy, gets us even bravery charm that we could put on our Luminion. Then we search out the mist energy so we don't have to deal with nap time again. Nap time was way too scary. I definitely misplayed and did not play around the nap time. Okay. Ah. Now try that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can put the put, put the charm down here. <laughs> I'll be Pogo Candy for the for, for the uh, prize check for sure for sure. Now the ones I play with in real life are like the Holland Phantoms candies, but then and then like hey they're optimal. They got the nice different border. But I did used to play for the Pogo with the Pogo candies just for the uh, memes. And now they're in a bind. I said, cannot take Pidgeot off the board for the rest of the game. They cannot keep punching Cloth. They can boss scale Luminion, but they still eventually have to deal with, with the with the uh, crab. There's no way getting around it. You're going to start hitting this thing eventually. There's a boss. They're going to KO Fish. One prize to go. 
I would probably just Iona to one and just be like, you don't have any options. You're going to have to pick what you want to do here. Are they going to boss to a double turb, I guess. That, that's fine. See, one prize left. Both boss down. I don't even have to mention anything else anyway. So Iona to one. Let's even start building up the, the cloth. But we, we can even see what's in the prizes. She could be good. Prizes are actually kind of bad. But it's okay. Let's get that Iona. Put him down to just one card. Alright. And then if they wanted to sit and not play into the grab, we start we start smacking. And if they do want to start smacking me, they run out of energies. I wish I had like the, I like the EX Sans, like the EX Sans on reverse candies would be really, ah, yo no, lying to me, come on. Oh, their own hero cape. Ah, the battle, of, this is the battle of the hero caves here. There's no one prize check. I prize check, hey. Cloth is still in the uh, deck. Cloth is carrying. This game would be so much harder without the uh, without the uh, crab here. No shot the harder trees. They just instantly lose the game with harder trees. Okay. I mean, this still sucks for them, but they're at least still alive. They at least are still in the uh, game. They don't really have a. I mean, yeah. Like, oh, my, why did they put my cloth to sleep? They did! Hey! <laughs> it's not cloth's nap time. We have, we have, uh, we have stuff to do here. Nope, cloth is very, 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 very sleepy. It's okay. It's alright, cloth. Cloth deserved to rest. Bro is just, uh, bro's been carrying. I think they probably should have been DTE on the active so they could retreat. We okay. <laughs> yeah, Kalaf is staying in for now. I'll pad this turn. I should have. I definitely should have. That was dumb. What are they gonna do? What they're just not they're gonna <laughs> they, they they hit us with the adjudge. Yeah, I should have. You putting Kalaf in without Toph? I guess these arc piles that don't have iron leaves or anything it's hard for them to deal with this they just pass okay well i will repair my error of uh the pal pad and i'm just gonna start slapping them what if we cc no we we uh, never do that or do we i think we we uh definitely could i think it's smart to yeah we we, we do that Silene. Dude, Silene, my other Silene's prize. So I kind of do want to go digging through the uh, prizes. But it's okay. We'll go for this three hit maybe into this Drago. Slapping Arc seems hot. Could be. The thing is, once Drago's cleared, Mimikyu wins the game. So. This baits the retreat or something. Well, not retreat. We just pull up. We pulled the Drago again, and they uh, they wouldn't have enough energies. I guess they technically could. Though. They could have grasses and stuff. The arcs are pretty high upside play. They do hard retreats. So. They do have two grass and one fire left. We just do the same thing. They load up the Reggie Drago. We, we, we pull it back up. We we can pincer off. Oh, do they not even have energies available? Okay, we get rid of that. He 
just we just need a couple more pennies to win this game. Also, if we need to buy a turn, Pidgeot can tank a hit. So that's good. Wait, and also we can bench Rotom, right? Yeah, we're, we're definitely playing Counter Catcher. Um, two boss. No, like, kind of Serena or anything like that. Okay, then this is good. Yes, this is just helps ensure I never whiff Penny now. Now, then that'll do it. Why is water in their list? Because of their 1 1 Alolan Bull picks. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, what is this? What is this living list chat message? Can I slow? <laughs> I think he was joking, but. <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's kind of sus. Okay, two out of four completed. What what are we gonna be facing? Uh, Zard or C Pow? I would love my my, my chance to get uh, revenge for the tie from earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's just kind of funny. He's just like, well, that's 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 kind of sus. Yeah, their list was kind of jank. Pretty, uh, oops, that's that's the wrong one. Pretty uh, pretty uh, cool. I mean, yeah, I'd rather see Zar, but chance at avenging that tie would, would be pretty cool as well. That was the list we were uh, against. That was uh, you'll allow this. One. <laughs> It just kind of threw me off. I just like I didn't realize that he said it like right before he like reported loss. It's just like whoa, that's kind of sus. But yeah, it's like it's fine. <laughs> it just threw me off for a minute. Pretty cool deck though. I, I still don't really get the eleven bull picks. I feel like Drago is already good in the match with full picks is good in too. Because Dino Box is I. I don't know. Dino Box isn't is isn't good. I don't know these things. Where do you see? Oh, there's a Dino Box. Let's see. It be a lot of art piles. I really, truthfully, have no clue. I'm still very of the opinion that this deck is not very good. That's that's fine. I think Lost Tina should be a favorite matchup for the deck. So play is, def is, is definitely allowed in, in top eight BO3. Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure. Okay. Rematch time. Let's go. We can do this. If we're using that exact same logic, the ancient box is good because it's 701. Then also, Roaring Moon to Dunsparce is pretty darn good. Spite Ops is pretty good. And then also, Arceus Reggie Drago. Pretty good. I beat that with control Buffalo and destroys their deck. They don't, they, don't, they don't play that many switches. We spread all their energies out. They can't bench Greninja, so they can't really get pop off quick. It is the exact same person. It's fine. It is very crazy. Especially this top eight. Look at this top eight. It's like what? There's three meta decks and some jank. Roy Moon to Dunsfar is kind of broken. You might be right. Maybe maybe we all just can't see see the uh, vision. Probably not. All right. Well, I feel like now this is the time where we petition to make Sniper make it like a bracket instead of like the rounds and stuff. So we just, it instantly pairs after uh, the matches get done. It would get done faster, Sniper. Think about it. Like, like, I don't know. Yeah, you could do that. It's fine. Okay. 
So yeah, we we should have or we would have won this tie if it was best of three 50 minutes. So there's just more time. We have the retreat lock win con if a barrel ever hits the board, and then we also have a wiggly stuff I know as a different one con. Well the thing uh I mean we could technically. But it's okay, because if we, if we got done way before the other side, it would be a lot of waiting, so it's okay. Like, I guess it's probably, probably going to be waiting no matter what. Not used to getting done this fast with, like, control. Best time to spend with me? Do you want to spend time with me? Is that what, what you really want? Man, imagine big moon versus no, it's gonna be the baby moon mirror. This top cut's shaping up pretty good for us. Like, assuming we everything goes according to plan against C Pow. As long as Ancient Box takes care of business, both of those games would be pretty favored matchups, so. Just just win. I guess if, um, instead of asking me when I'm uh, playing, if y'all have any questions about the list, now's the time. Now would be the uh, perfect time. Yeah, I know. I feel like Baby Moon's not, <laughs> not that good, but it, it's popping off tonight. Ask away. Ask all your wonderful questions. Why is the list so cool? Um, that just is. I use Giovanni, not tonight actually. Well, like, I'm gonna torn with the, the Geo because it's like when it's good, it's really, really good, but then it is pretty situational, so it, it might get cut again. Why am I not playing Erica's? Because you don't win with retreat lock that often in this format. There's, there's like not, there's, there's like zero matchups where you like just have retreat lock as a win con. Why do I hate Gengar? Yeah, the same list as yesterday, just cut up for Houston for Wigglytuff. Um, why not 2-1? Because the Sharon looping isn't really a, a thing that happens. And I just don't want to prize this card because it's pretty good in a lot of matchups. So I tend to get two Jigglypuffs because we have Jiggly and Heavy Ball. And we have the... So we just don't want to prize a Wigglytuff. Playing into Lugia. So we use Wigglytuff to either KO... Well, the, the main plan is KO both Archeops with, with Wigglytuff because it gets three hits. And then use Cloth to KO their loaded up Chinchino that they would have knocked you out with. And then at that point, any looping Cloth and Chi wins the game. Eventually, they, they run out of energies or with energies. So you just any loop and win. Sometimes they will try to just be like, okay, I'm not going to let you knock out my Archeops. Like, what if I preload a big... Uh, Chinchino to knock out your Wigglytuff. Then you more aggressively chase down the Chinchinos, because then if all their Chinchinos get knocked out, they have nothing that could one-hit a Charmed Cloth or a Charmed Chi Yu. So same basic strategy, just goes back in, 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 into Penny Loop. Um, so yeah, you use Wigglytuff, use Cloth, try to KO either all their Archeops and their loaded up Chinchino or all their Chinchinos. And you should win. Uh, okay. Was the Azard that lost playing Gengar? That would have been interesting to, to show, but yeah, they weren't. They were playing double Turo. That's they're playing double Turo collapsed Devo. All that, and I still don't even know if it actually matters. Why Buffalo and, and Cloth? Uh, so Bufflant is good, in, like really good into those Lost Box matchups, the Arc matchups, because it can just lost some energies, and with the cape on it, it usually can tank a hit, so it can get a ton of value, just remove a lot of resources from play. And I, like I just explained, the Cloth is pretty good against Lugia for that leads up into Cloth line, and also was just very clutch against Arceus that last game, and it's pretty solid into a future as well. I am doing the uh, Doom Regional Jam. I haven't, I haven't actually faced so. I've probably been keeping track of the games I've prized one Wigglytuff 
I know I know it's happened a couple times, or at least one time. Uh, but Wiggly Tough will, like, I guess it's only been good one time today. No, it was good too. Carried against Lugia. Won that game, just couldn't quite finish it. Should have probably been good there, but I was goofing. And yeah, that's that's been it so far, but I've kind of... It, sh it should come into play against Tina, just never got it set up. Oh. That's the wrong one. There we go. Let me go with the one-two tough line, because Wigglytuff is important in a lot of matchups. So, prizing the Wigglytuff EX sucks. Like, a lot of the other pieces for the combos in those matchups, I can unprize with Wigglytuff. But I I can't unprize Wigglytuff in the, in the first place if it's prized. So, I'd rather play these two and not prize it, because I do have the heavy belt to pull out another prize Pokemon or something. Is Erica an option? This deck isn't winning by retreat lock that much, so I don't think Erica's ever strong enough to, to, to play. I use Grabber as a disruption card. Uh, seems kind of underpowered. What's the plan of dealing with Squovitz? So, if it's like Zard with, 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 with Squovitz, um, we can just wait until, until they score, but put themselves down to a one card hand and then gust something up and start spamming Chi Yu and start removing a ton of resources. We can use Wiggly Tough to knock it out. We can use Pidgeot to knock it out. Um, even Cloth is like pretty good against Zard and like Arc, those decks that could be playing Squobit. So we could also take uh, a knockout. Like a lot of the, yeah, we can just, just, just knock it out. Or if they put themselves down, down to one card hands, have limited stuff in play, we can go counter catcher and, and, and start milling and get a ton of value also or the harder matchups arctina is definitely the hardest um arctina's is not but like i don't arctina i don't really like, i'm not really fear anything like lugia and future and lost tina could go a ton of different ways i mean i guess dax would like spirit tomb and stuff he's afk on stream Wait, like David here is? Um, I'm gonna show you. I didn't miss any questions. Okay, I don't. I don't think I did. Good. I didn't. I didn't want to miss any questions. You can. You, you can keep asking them. We still have time. Even if they're the same ones someone asked just a minute ago, and you missed my response, I can say it again. Rad Guardi so Tina can't um OHK the bird. But we can we can put Defiance and Cape on the, the Pidgey. So it's not a big concern. Uh, I mean also can put Mist on it so it doesn't die either to Requiem. But yeah, that that could be kind of scary though. So still no Poffin. Yeah, Pop. I, I can see a Poffin. I just don't know where, where the uh, space would be. I had Sableye beat me last night. I prized Wigglytuff. Bro got a really aggro early Radzard. And if I would have had Wigglytuff to, to punish it, the game would have just been over because they, they would have been down so many resources. But I had, it was prized, so I could really never remove the threat from play. So I eventually lost. Helikazam, that's funny. What's my plans for regionals rest of the season? Orlando here in a couple weeks. Indy in about a month or two. And NAIC. Am I really sick? Oh, that sucks. You don't wish that on anyone. Yeah, like that's... <laughs> we were just prizing Wiggly Tough so much yesterday. I'm like, okay, this card's important. We need another one. Okay, there's... Th th there's us uh, still going. Looks very close to bird control. What changed this expansion that made me swap to Wigglytuff? Well, Lugia's reemergence. We have to have something to deal with that matchup, right? Um, and also just is like Wigglytuff isn't just like a one trick into Lugia. Like it also is good into a lot of different matchups. So, like like Arc, like like Lost Box, Future, like some of the stuff that you can kind of struggle into without it. So. Surprisingly versatile card, like, getting Hero's Cape to give it 450 HP 
make most decks have to three hit it is really really good yeah i mean like i don't know i'm never gonna play like daisy daisy plus phone to play around prizing I, I just always would rather play more good cards than like play orc phone and have to like spend supporter for turn to go looking for my uh card out of the prizes Yeah, this is I've I've always really liked control decks and in there's been a lot of cool control decks over the years in, in uh, Pokemon. I but I, I never really like played control too much. I always like um like ladder grinded with it, but I never like played it at tournaments. But now I'm like doing better at playing it at actual tournaments. Or Lugia's weaknesses, you'd say? Like, as a deck? It's really just inconsistence. Like, it's consistency is its biggest enemy. Like, if it if it were, like, a, a little bit more consistent, I think I don't think there'd even be a question that it would be best deck in formats. But it's... I think it is... I think you could make the case that it is best deck in format right now. If it really is just consistency, I feel like it's an easy deck to play, so... Yeah, it's easy. It's a really good matchup spread. It really just beats itself. That's 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 when it loses to the uh, most. I see your list for a Texas showdown. Sure, we we can we can do that. Ah, uh, up two cut. That's kind of funny. Okay. So wants to add in. Uh, what's it called? Palpat. So, no, none of the, uh, skateboards? Dang, that seems kind of good in here. I, I am also a four rod enjoyer. Oh, uh, yeah, this seems kind of tight. I see what you mean. I do see what you mean. It's... Yeah, I don't know. Because there's like... There's... <laughs> I don't really want to cut a pop when you're only playing three nests. I don't really want to cut a switch. Cutting an energy feels kind of bad. Maybe a third water? Or wait, can, no, you, you just cut a Sableye. Yeah, you cut Sableye for, for Pat, and I'd really like to find a space for a fourth rod. I mean, Banette plus Salvatore is, like, I don't like it's cool, but it's just, like, 30 damage isn't really any crazy impressive. A switch? I think I'm like, six switches. That seems pretty low. Like, like, there's no skateboards, so, like, you don't have that consistent retreat option on board. But I, I think not playing skateboards is kind of a troll, because, like, you can get a ton of value and, like, his lost vacuum synergy as well. <laughs> yeah, that that uh, Venomoth deck did make top eight. We just uh just saw that. Uh, 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 uh it was it was this one. So maybe maybe item lock is is um here. But like, <laughs> how much Flutterman even is that? I mean, there's the ancient box, but that's about it. Most decks play one flutter, huh? Oh yeah, Salvatore Guardi could 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 have gone crazy. I feel this pity doesn't seem worth. I mean, it seems okay, but I could see just like if you want the vacuum synergy, just playing the like playing the uh, emergency boards. Yeah, I'm not. I think cutting a save. I would definitely cut a save lie. Like save lie is not good that that like not that often. I would say. Like, I mean, it's still all right, but I don't think you like. It's so good that you want two of them. Um. 
All right, <laughs> we're in the, uh, they might tie, I guess. Eight minutes left and they like relatively recently started game three. Timeout and top cut goes crazy. Goes absolutely crazy. David was sick and throwing up? Oh goodness, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. Emergency board seems really good not to play. Okay, well, we might have some uh Um Might have some time on our hands. So what do we what what do we do, chat? Um Are there any like recent city league lists? No, that's not a thing. Are those those still are stuck? Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, they're, they're streaming as well on Twitch, so you could, you could, uh, watch that. Make a bracket, yeah. Bro, me and, me and CPOW would be done by now. Start vlogging? That would be cool. Well, well, what would I vlog though? Uh, um, I guess we could look at that. We 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 could definitely look at those. Uh, there we go. There's 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 interesting stuff happening here. Like gouging fire, winning the whole thing with Chi with Cyclozar, with Mela. There's like all kinds of interesting things happening. Uh, yeah, just like playing like gouging fire straight up and just hitting 260. I guess you do have the iron valiance to give you a little like bonus damage, but it seems kind of underpowered. But it got the dub. The tame the life of blood. So, what did you do when not playing Pokemon tournaments? Not much. <laughs> Plays more Pokemon. I mean, it helps you start energies on like a single prizer, and it's like I guess a uh, okay like finish like if gouging fire hits a uh, ex, you could finish off with a chi you. Squawked palpat and three sadas. Wow. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff happening here. I'd have to play this deck because like on paper it seems kind of underwhelming, but it might just be better than I think it is. Gengar gouging fire, yeah, for the for the infinite reset. That's kind of sick. Cycles are gives you a free retreat option. So like if you're gouging fire, you, like, you, you, you can't swing two turns in a row. So like that means switch cards always reset. Check Discord or not when I have a second? Okay. I, I definitely have a uh, second. We got pings in our deck list. Ooh, we could uh, we could pull that up. Let me uh, let me get Discord pulled up real quick. We could uh, definitely do that. Too many uh, deck list tabs pulled up. Okay, we there. There we go. Let's see. Okay, this is like kind of let's see. That's way too big. Let's try this. That's, that's a little too small, huh? Make it bigger. There we go. The beautiful, uh, beautiful black screen. Okay. Valiant Iron Leaves. Pretty, pretty interesting, actually. So I, I guess we have. So we have like the, the Iron Valiant to help, hopefully improve the uh, damage output of. 
uh iron leaves i don't know this like does it do enough damage i guess you do like you're you're, you're doing fine into c pal you're doing okay into charizard obviously and maybe like the iron volume pings and like future capsules you could do enough damage into like tina and stuff i think it's a max belt like you can't one shot like max belt zard or max belt um arc can't just one shot you wait, wait no, no no it wouldn't matter with um zard max belted arc can't one shot you gold cards are already a bad deck You can believe in the banana as much as you want to. Not an iron crown believer. I think that's what that means. Uh, I I I guess that it, I I don't know. Actually, seems pretty interesting. This seems like better than future box. Like that deck's a pile. Uh, but I I grass. Good weakness to hit. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate it. Like it's probably not the most competitive deck in the world, but looks looks fun and it probably can get you some 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 dubs. Like whoever made this is, it was a smart idea. Is this a tournament over? No, top four. We're just waiting because apparently someone was uh having uh issues with uh not feeling well or something. All right. Oh come on. There we go. We're back. Yeah, that, I mean, it does seem pretty interesting. Like, there's probably something to work with there. I could take you out. Like, unlike some of the other Valiant builds, like, Techno Radar finds all your stuff. So it's probably more consistent than, like, that Gouging Fire Valiance that we just faced earlier. You should like keep finding switches to reach knockouts, but I guess you can like preemptively stack damage on things. I'm so not sure though that like <laughs> Radiant Guardy denying max but really fixes your arc matchup, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. It would be hard to hit 280 too many times. Was there a, a, a max belt in there? Or it was, it was Prime Catcher, wasn't it? Well, they got a time extension so let's go back over to the uh the, the other thing Highland regional league so we looked at the gouging fire list now we have the alga got second and you know with, with, with the doubles on mazenta vitality but i like having some mazenta so like after the alga goes down we aren't like building out of Dialga. Like we still have solid attacking threats like the zamazentas and the the muse maybe the zard matchup would be okay because like Dialga maybe takes three prizes, and Zamazenta can find one or two, and then we always play. We always have a single prize board state, so Mew copying Zard's attack at when they have one prize left would close the game. So maybe the Zard matchup isn't that bad because like also you could, um, well I guess defines when it when it when it work like that. So yeah, then you like also have the 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 vitality bands to help you trade better into Iron Hands and Roaring Moon. It's actually pretty cool. Like the four rod seems seems pretty nice. Not quite like Ball Surge as I think we've seen before in other other lists of of the Dialga. I also don't know why you wouldn't play the other Beldum, the one that stacks a card on top. But this does seem pretty pretty neat. I think I will have to. I, I'll need to make a Dialga video sometime soon because this deck does seem like a great deck to just have fun with. Like, I, I'm not sure. It, like, it, but it definitely does have like competitive potential to win some games. I mean, I'm not sure where it ranks on a would rank on a tier list, but like, I like those. I like, it's cool that we have decks that like aren't ultra competitive, but they like are good enough to get you wins sometimes. Like, not everything is just, like, super ultra top meta or just total garbage. Like, we have some stuff that's, like, sort of in the middle. I feel like it makes the format, like, stay fresh and stay, stay, um, 
I, it, it, it keeps people coming back if there's a lot of different options to, to go to. Yeah, I don't have no clue how, that other, how long the game's going to last, so we'll just keep looking at the list here. There's a Lost Box with Hoopa, with Roaring Moon, with Spirit Zoom. Hoopa's actually pretty cool. Will Block be playable? Yeah. Just to run to off meta Yeah, I know, right? You face Gouging Fire in finals. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Well, that would that would make sense. You run two, run slacking. Slacking eats up two gates, though. Like, why would I gate to a slacking when I can just gate to a moon? You spend two gates on a slacking to hit for not enough. When I could gate to a roaring moon and frenzy gouge. And knock on everything. The crisis punches are pr pretty cool. I'm definitely a crisis punch enjoyer. Okay, Hoop's definitely been rising in popularity because of those Iron Hands decks, and even it's pretty okay against Lugia. Or can be if they load up some energies and play preemptively. I'm not sure how long we'll see bundles stick around in this deck, because like, I guess if you went first against Future, just having bundle to go around their Maridon would, would be pretty nice, because they're going to like put energies in play, so maybe Hoopa could... Could find a knockout. Not sure though. Not yeah, I'm not sure like, like bundle seemed good when like tiny people were like running flutter main. At least like a lot of the City League stuff, like Flutter Main and Vulpix and all that crazy jank. But I've really seen too much of that over here. So imagine your first TCG tournament this weekend, should you bring control or future hands? I mean they're both solid decks, just whatever whatever one you feel like you could you could play better. Uh my, my deck is niche, but also super ultra meta. Yeah, decks like that are nice that are like I mean I guess that's kinda like a control tier deck. Like a ton of people aren't gonna play it ever. But also it is powerful. Well it depends if they're playing online or IRL. And they could have like locals that are already pre-rotation. Pre pre might not be an official sanctioned event, but they could have like a post-rotation win a box or something. Tina in here, Iron Leaves. Seems like what people are just like the usual Tina list post-rotation. You lose a lot of credibility playing Iona though. You lose a lot of credibility. Poke Gear is a good card. Still, still going there. I'm actually going to look at the Ancient Dude's Twitch stream real quick, and I'm going to see how close they are to being done. So I'm not just, like, constantly peeking over, like. Oh. All right, I guess, wait, 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 we could just do this. Okay, two prizes left from this little screen grab. And we're looking pretty good. That matchup seems really tough for Tina, as long as the... The baby ancient can play the game. Uh, so I guess we can maybe take a look at a couple more lists. Uh, another lost Tina. This one looks basically identical, but there's not a temple. There's an artisan instead. There's a second loss of vacuum. Maybe a, one less puffin. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard Tina list. There's an Arctina, playing the Ditto, playing the League Headquarters. Yeah, y'all play League Headquarters. Cut Lost City. Lost City, bad. Headquarters, good. Um, even has an Arvin and a Sharon, so some unusual cards going on here. Yeah, I feel like Toro is better than Sharon in most cases with this deck. Oh, he's checked me on board. Broken. Headquarters got your friend finals in Vancouver. I'm not like dumping on headquarters. I think it's okay. I think like you kind of have to play stadiums. Otherwise, like some like temples and like Tina playing temple or 
slow relax playing temple like kind of bodies you have to like play like some stadium checks and, and headquarters would like slow down so like what like, like headquarters would, would help with lost box potentially especially if they're not playing too many ways to bounce stadiums but like really what else would it help with because like also lost city would be pretty cool to like lost zone a roaring moon or something but i guess if most of us are playing two moons that wouldn't really matter I don't think like with Ark your lost box matchups are good enough anyway. Okay, that one's done. So we're getting getting paired into the. I guess it, it would be good into a future, but I feel like Yari should be beating future. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Let's get it. Take two against Chen Pao. I don't know how long that downtime was in between rounds, but it felt like forever. Um, did they, okay, they did not delete me. I was going to be very sad if they deleted me. They didn't want to be friends anymore. So they, they played right into the, into the Mawile game one. And now I don't have to be worried about like speeding the game up. Like we... We can just win the game with with tempting trap best and, and all that. We don't have to worry about like trying to win in 30 minutes. Right, this is such a bad card in Ancient. It, that's that's my biggest issue with Ancient. You sort of necessarily have to play bad cards for your strategy. Well, this, this, this is pretty broken. We have Nest Ball for, for Pidgey. Ultra Bug gets us Arvin, or gets us Luminion for Arvin for Pidgeot, so. Pretty, pretty good. Penny off the top, doesn't get us too far. Uh, Luminion's in there, Pidgey. We did prize a Pidgey. Prize a Wigglytuff, so nice that we have the two copies in this game. Our Arvins have Sisters, have Aerie. Have the Forest Seal still in the cave. Those are some, some big and important ones. How about... Oh, Mawile. Mawile's in there. Broken. We'll put the Mist on the active as well. And we'll send it back over to them. So... My play next turn could be Luxray. It could be... I mean, we're definitely using Ultra Ball for Luminion getting the Pidgeot online. That is... Entirely... That's a... No-brainer. We'll see how, how they play their turn. I went first, so I can't use lead. Lead would be so correct if you could use it going first. You'd probably play more Jigglypuffs just to have better starting odds. If we're, if we're that good. That's that that Sable's Art hands deck that won yesterday was 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 pretty nasty. They failed an S ball. That's kind of interesting. I wonder why they did that. Unless they like, have Poffin in hand already. They bench Doof again. But no Friggy. So Fang Snipe is free here. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, wait, wait, stuff. Goodbye for now. Yeah, I think we, uh... We actually could have also should no. We should have probably gone Wigglytuff Punch. That would have been better, I think. Vice Triple Frig, maybe. I mean, it's it's possible. Yeah, I definitely should have gone Wigglytuff Punch. That would have been so good. Yeah, I know. I know we uh, did. I was. It's okay. Fang Snipe is is still good. They don't really have anything that they can do to punish this. We have Super Rod. Um, does yeah give us in, in, information that could tell us if if if, if Aerie's been a is a is a good play for next turn. Fang Snipe. Yeah, without backs they are limited. Just the Super Rod. Their hand's bad. 
Arian's really bad. So they sort of necessarily have to set up Excalibur. Or not Excalibur, B -B Barrel. And... So then I think we probably go Sisters next turn and just start hunting those superior energy retrievals. Those candies, the Prime Catcher. Reversal also, also gets broken in this deck? Well, I couldn't attack with anything with Reversal Energy. If Reversal worked on Wigglytuff, yeah. But everything, like all my attackers are a rule box. No, I don't think I ever wait. It has to be tri triple Friggy prized. That's the only thing. I, I don't ever wait because there's no punish. So there could have been a more valuable card than Super Rod. Like we, we knew they Pokies off for Super Rods. There always was that. Now we airy a thousand percent using airy. Now they sort of have to like burn ser for a couple energies here but they can't get that candy out of the hand ever why is bufflons it's really good against the uh, lost box stuff um it's good into um, Arceus stuff um in mirror match oh okay oh and they've iridan hands nah -uh. No way. I guess one way we can win the game is milling all their candies. That would be, uh, that'd be one way to do it. <laughs> that would be, that'd be hilarious if we could uh, win the game that way. Only playing three. How much harder is it to play this deck in closed lists? Oh, they... It definitely would be harder. But also, you have to think playing against it would be a lot harder as well. Okay. Yeah, I wish we had the Awigly stuff right now because we do sort of lack... options here All right, they do the superior yeah because now like to, like if, if we could tough and force wow they're down so many iridas yeah all of them actually Yeah, I definitely feel like I should have played more aggressively with the Wigglytuff rather than going with Luxury. Because then we, we kind of could tell that Friggies were a prize, so. I kind of don't hate just the Iono here. Put him down to... Put him down to four cards in hands. Attached to the Jigglypuff. You can drag up the back's Caliber, so that's not... All right, so that's a. It's more energies for them to find this KO. Should play Devo. Devo would go pretty nuts right now. All right, I think we just hide behind the Abufalons for now. I'm a little scared. Yeah, that, not going for Wigglytuff Tough was, was a massive miss, but I think we'd probably already have the game won if we would have went for that. I was just tunnel visioned it on Luxury just being free, but yeah, if we KO if we KO this back, the game's over. They can't get energies back, so um, we can get close. <laughs> Devo would definitely uh would, would be pretty good here. There's a prime. On the Jigglypuff. Feels good. Okay. And the Iono. I just win with, with double Mawile now, I think. Uh, cause I I Mawile the the Bidoof, and they eventually have to evolve it, which does clear the re the retreat lock, and then they could KO. 
but uh, we still be able to finish the game no, no problem. Since they didn't prime catcher for two prizes because the threat of whipping itself was just too big. Rip, rip the stop next over V. What's Pokey Stop? <laughs> There's an artisan in play. You're so goofy. Um, how many stops do they play actually? Three of them. So they do have one left. Okay. Let's let's do the do the uh the uh, things. We can artisan and go for Mawile. Their one Iono is gone, so we can just build the hand all we want here. So let's quick search for an energy card. We can go for Super Rod. Even a cape could force more energies out of this Sea Pow than, than they could potentially have. Or you could just go to Defiance Fence. <laughs> or Bravery Charm. None of it matters that much. We, we, we have a Mala, we, 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 we have a Tatch. We can pull up Deep Doof. So now they're stuck. And if they want to get out of this, they have to... Um, They have to evolve, and then we just pull it back up again. Model the Baxton KO with, with Pidgeot. Yo, that's actually kind of dope. But this is fine, too. <laughs> this is okay, too. I didn't think of that, so we're not going to go for that, because then that would be a chat helping me win games, so... We wouldn't want to make anyone else upset. It just degenerates into a penny looping then, which we still have all our pal pads. But yeah, we should have done that. I didn't even think of that line, but that would have been really funny. I guess it could have gone bad though that energy is stashed in play. They do over attach an energy, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't know what what play do they even have. They, they hail blade for knockout. I think that they have to hit an absurd amount of heads in a row. That's like literally all that they can do, I guess. Well, that's fine. You okay about the top? I guess like that that cape top like, was pretty massive. Wait, I don't have boss and. Oh, no, I don't have energy, actually. What if we uh, pull up the Iron Hands, though, and just hit it? Or just stick it, I mean. Yeah, that's that's fine, right? We just make sure we're not sitting by something that gets knocked out for uh, two prizes. just okay yo Lux Ray nah so now they have to commit four energies to retreat or if they commit four just to amp then we go penny um No, they don't have any gust left, so that's not happening. I don't think benching hands is ever correct, because, like, it eats up so many of their energies.
I mean, they could hard retreat out of it, I guess, and take K KO. Ultra Ball. Because now there's five. They still have four left, I guess. Or I guess they need superior. Unfortunately, Rotom didn't really get me too far. I was hoping to find a counter catcher or something or an energy. I, mean, I guess we can penny up Bufalon and drag up the barrel. And that, that would still be good, right? No, the hard retreats. Into the Greninja. Oh, KO Mawl. Oh, no. No. I didn't attach a tool. Oh, shoot. I'm throwing so bad. That is awful. <laughs> that was horrible misplay on my part. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. But do they have enough energies left? Nah, honestly, I mean, C power is favored if I don't play like a ding dong. <laughs> Okay. So. Can they. Okay. How many energies could they potentially have left? Four superiors down. One super rod left. They could super rod and have all of them, right? But they would have to. Okay. This is the play. Counter catcher up the hands. Um, Penny active. Go back into the Pidgeot. Owl pad back in boss. And a Penny, I guess. An instant charge. So that, 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 that's a commit four here. Is it, well, then there's like arm prat or amp, I mean. Hmm. It's fine. Because like... We do also have the uh, Chi Yu that could come in. Yeah, we are we are chilling, but like I could have made this a zero percent chance loss game and I didn't. So that's very uh very sad. Chi Yu now wins the game. They have to have Rod here. Even if they do have Rod, it's kind of an awkward spot. Two one with for alligator, nice. Yeah, but also playing like shuffling back in the waters, and letting them get potentially milled is kind of maybe maybe not the move. Because also they like can't amp. Yeah, there's the last rod. Oh no. Concealed? Wait, did I ever win this way? A Chiyu just went, wins the game. Right? Dude, that was so much harder than it had to be. Oh my goodness. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I had so many lines that were better, I didn't do any of them. But it's okay. I don't know why- I, I had literally zero reason to not attach the uh, cape. I 
I did not I don't feel like I deserve that game, but all right. They want first. Well, they can have it. <laughs> the goat. I don't know about that. Throws the game multiple times, but still wins. Goated? Question <laughs> mark. So see, chat. Miss. Be bad. But don't be bad enough that you lose the game. Just be bad enough to let your opponent put their uh, guard down and underestimate you. But don't be so bad that the game is totally unrecoverable. You wouldn't want to do that. That bad of misplaying is very, very bad. Don't do that. Forty, 40 subs in one stream? Have we? These last few streams have been crazy for uh, subs. I don't know what I've been doing differently, but like even the view, like 150 is the, easily the most I've ever had. So if you're if you're one of the 150 legends in here right now, you're awesome. I appreciate you. Okay. They open the uh, the robot deli bird. Something tells me they're going to have a little bit better of a start than our last time. <laughs> they're not going to price a free, free, uh, free, three Frigivax. I can talk. Almost 40. I guess we did start at like 3,090. Dang. That's crazy. I'm glad everyone's watching the control streams. Like. If people really, really like this and enjoy this, I'll keep doing it. I have no problem playing Control over and over again. Um, if that's what people... If that's the kind of content people like to see. Okay. Do we be... Oh, the cape is prized. No. Okay, this seems fine, though. Let's just make sure we have Pidgeys in deck and Pidgeots in deck. Pidgey in there, Pidgeot in there. So we have Nespa for a Pidgey... That's the Pidgey odds. Then we charm it up so Ninja doesn't snipe it. Like their hand isn't incredible based on how they 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 routed things. EP top deck was pretty sick. There's the Irida. Oh, their hand's dead. Their hand is so dead. Next year we go Airy. And we are gaming. Well, I'm really, really glad people like the content. <laughs> anyway, and all oh, top deck guy. Yo, no, so lucky. They're so lucky, chat. Oh, we have Luminia. Actually, I didn't price check for Luminia. I'm bad. <laughs> no. Yo, top deck candy so we could KO loan for Iggy. I think they finally decided that the barrel just ain't it. I know, 144 watching is ridiculous. Y'all are awesome. Well, thanks. Like, does make it kind of hard for them to. Hey, that was mean. I didn't want to go back into the Pidgey. <laughs> That's not nice. Right, hopefully, Luminia is not prized. I know Pidgey was. Uh, what? What do we? I would normally nest all the way. Uh, whatever. Boss is bad. We 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 don't need boss. All right, Lumi's in there. Four seal some we know is in there. Okay. I definitely could see going Jigglypuff here. Like nest ball for a for the uh, puff. Fish is so broken. What other card do we want? I think we definitely do this and get down the Ghibli. I think we can attach to it as well. Right? Or what what else would there be? We could go charm on Lux. Yeah, we uh 
we put the uh the double trib on there why not without the barrel what kind of combos do they re realistically have in hand <laughs> one more arc drago blitzel other hand is still bad i think that would be poffin right so they can't get more frigid backs down The Luminion's very good. Like, I played this deck with, with Poke Gears and it just wasn't the same. The Ultra Luminion has been so much better for me. The deck really didn't click until we had the Ultra Luminion. They just don't have anything. So, now we can get. You can get the Wigglytuff. We're very close to being able to just. Start using friend tackle and knock out that frigid backs. That is nothing. I guess we'll fang snipe for a ten hole damage. That's that's pretty darn bad. Yeah, they just they decide yeah this is this this ain't working. We gotta put the adoofs down. And you never know when that 10 might be clutch. Hailblade for 120. Alright, let's let's go sisters here. I don't have to go super aggro wiggly tough if they're gonna if they're going to bench the, the doofs and give me retreat lock win con. Oh, there's some good cards. Okay, Bax's top deck is not bad for them. But even the top deck bib, they still wouldn't even be swinging. Oh, the top deck ear does so lucky. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Maybe the sister's last turn was kind of greedy. Because now I can't go counter catch your Wiggly Tough KO Bax right away. I don't know why they're hailblading there either. I guess they want to make their own SERs live. So they can preserve the energies, I, I, I guess. Maybe set that up for a ninja play. I don't really know. They probably get another Friggy or, or maybe Ninja, just the way how slow they're. Yeah, the sisters was probably greed, but also them top taking Irido is pretty dang good. Um. And also, I didn't know that they had Bax Caliber in hand either. So, like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> They're down a ton of energies. Yeah, that might be. Let's see. Set up for me. All right. I appreciate you, Jonathan. We have quite a few live top decks. Like, all of our Arvins are counter catchers, energy. Um, yeah, it's like not that low odds like it's one of our higher odd top decks probably oh yeah I don't, why did why, why did it do that okay let's go but no i need to play the supporter no it doesn't ko if i, if I don't play a supporter so you know what that means i own a high roll time It's fine. Oh, I should I should put the vest on. Rip. I didn't do that. Okay. Um. I'm goofy. I'm extremely goofy. I really do not deserve to be in top four here. I'm playing like absolute amazingness right now. Okay, we have it. We have it. Four card hands, what could they possibly have? Tom Fleury needs to be studied, I know. Having good cards in your hand and just simply not playing them is one of my greatest advanced strategies. It really throws your opponent off. 
Like I'm telling you, I'm sure my opponent's just like probably raging over there because like this person's trashed the game, but I'm drawing so bad I can't punish them. And I, I think that's a that's a fair take. Is this game one, it's game two. I took game one. You're raging too. I know you want me to finish the tournament so you can go to bed. Ooh, that could be Prime plus S-E-R. Maybe a regional champion? That would go pretty hard. No, that was definitely... Okay. Yeah, that was definitely a uh, misplay. We don't have to defend my... Uh bad plays with saying it was saying we just got unlucky uh oh they want the bird they want the bird this might be game <laughs> i might have just fumbled this yeah this is massive fumble but they do even backs and like double candies down. We maybe could crawl back in the game if like imagine Pokestop hits Countercatcher. They only have one rod left. Oh, that that's the last rod. And they didn't put put back in backs. So Pokestop into a countercatcher would probably end the game. I mean, I did just waste one. No, I'm throwing every stream. Like, if you think Blitzel throwing unheard of is thing, you've not watched too many Blitzel streams. Throwing's like my hobby. Okay. We, we, we promote the Mimikyu. There's no Gus left. Mimikyu promotes good. Because then if Pokestop hits... Ah, uh, what's it called? Countercatcher. Because, like, we can't stop take boss, so... I know, right? Blitzel after dark. Not good. Blitzel after dark loses a lot of plot armor. Oof. It's okay. Can't really bench Pidgey right now either, but it's alright. It's alright. They have bundle? Oh, you're right! I needed an Ultra Ball for a single prizer. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I've just I've absolutely deserved to lose this game. <laughs> I a thousand percent deserve to lose this game, so if they do it, I don't even care. Alright, Ultra Ball for filter, because I'm literally just playing like garbage. It's just uh it's okay. We want to go to three games so we can have a longer stream. I just need to slow down and think things through here. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. But, yeah, I, sh I should have Ultra Balled for the Abufalons. I mean, they, they definitely should hit it. I see the Thailand Regional League. I did. I only play control, right? So. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, they have like, two SERs left. And like four outs. And then they, they, they have. Yeah, they got it. Okay. Are they sequencing bad? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, we should have definitely ultra for our Buffalons. Really definitely could have got there. Um Yeah, I'm not even gonna make them make them have it. Whatever. They deserve to win the game. Like if they misclicked, I'd feel bad. So I'm gonna go first, and I'm not gonna play like an absolute silly this game. We're not playing. This match feels so good, but I'm playing so bad. <laughs> Alright. It's, it's all good. That's the fun part of best of three. 
Buffon would be one hit. It doesn't. That, that's not the point. The point is Bundle wouldn't have won them the game. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that actually is a real thing. Yo, sniper, if you're still in chat, are, are these? I mean, this 26 minutes. That should be enough. Um. I know, like, but I remember if before he said that there's a timer, but they're technically not timed, or what we said before. Probably a different series. Yeah, I need to think things through a little more thoroughly. No, I don't want to get ninjaed. And I feel I have enough ball search. I feel fine going first. Oh, I get body for going first. Look at this chat. Look at this bozo going first. Bodied. Bodied. <laughs> Look at this clown. Look what happens when you go first. And you don't draw any of your pen outs to Pidgey turn one. Rip. What Crollo doesn't know is I've been going first all night, and this is like my second bad hand. So yeah, it's 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 fine. Just I'm like kind of worried about like an aggro prime catcher, because now they can go like cipher maniac. They can stack Hoffin plus Nestball probably. Like if if, if like that's a Pagey instead of Mimikyu, this hand's incredible. We are a uh, peak gaming. They went for the heavy ball. I guess why would they go poffin anyway? That's that's silly. They want a ninja. Okay, and the earthen vessel. It's never correct. But I this matchup feels so good. I wouldn't want it like the way it goes off the rails is if they have turn two shuriken. But I'll, but in most matches, I do choose second. But in Chin Pao is one of the few ones I do choose first. Do you know what's kind of risky here? Price for a seal stone as well. This has to be Rotom then. That kind of sucks. And a Pidgey's price again. Gosh, this is so scuffed, chat. Like we, okay. Actually, what if I spun the Pokus out first and we hit Candy? Thinning is winning. No, we we definitely can't do that. That'd be basically just like saying we have it in the next three cards. We have. This could slow down their. Game's kind of good, but like also I don't want to just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fine. That's definitely an all time high. <laughs> it's... All right, there we go. We got Nest Ball. Have. J Jigglypuff as well. Yeah. I don't like how we could get Prime Catcher next turn. If we do, but then the, the Charm Pidgey. I'm assuming that they wouldn't have ciphered if um, the hand just sucked. There's an Ultra Ball. There's a Poffin. Uh, yeah, why didn't they retreat for? I guess no way they they want to. Um, they're probably not attacking them this turn, right? Well, that's good. Oh no, they are attacking. Oh, they're gonna bundle the Rotom. That seems amazing. Seems amazing. Same bundle this turn. Uh, what's the, the other thing next turn? That, that's massive, yikes. This is looking not so good. Q 
get bodied this game. This is this is recoverable. It's fine. We had we had a we had a crazier game on. It's okay. Okay, you came my road, Tom. So what? Put down Jigglypuff. I nest ball for a thing for Pidgey. I spin Pokestop. I pass turn. And then Yes, this is this is perfectly fine. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Even if they go after the the Pidgey, they only got that one back Excalibur. Bundle kind of cracked this matchup. All right, let's get the Pidgey on the board. Have one candy in deck. Spinning is winning. Okay, your turn. Go ahead. Prime Catcher and Kyo Pidgey. I dare you. It's then. It's Wigglytuff. It's Iono. Not go back, Scalper. Up spin does not help him. Okay. They're not both bibs, so even if they wanted to bench bib arrow, I don't think they probably do though. There's Lost Vacuum Ninja, except they do not play Lost Vacuum. We did face that two games in a row yesterday. Uh, lost Vacuum and Chimpao. There's a super rod. And this is some this is some pretty epic gaming sequencing. They're gonna bundle me again. Yo, the bundle needs to stop. The bundle's going too hard. Hyperblower? Ah man, you gotta take out my Pidgey. That's so rude. That's fine. Other backs caliber down? No. Yeah, bundle is pretty goaded in this matchup. We Lu Luminion, then back to three. Um, Illumion, I, I, I don't know. Put back in the Pidgey. I don't want Rotom. And we have the, in the next nine cards to see a counter catcher. We did price two. We priced two of them, so I don't like the odds, but it's what we have. Because I'm pretty sure if we just don't play Iona, just KO box, we just probably don't take KO. We did with the catcher. Okay. Some pretty yucky prizes. Well. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah, they have to find one of their SERs to take this KO. That was their chance to get back in the game, but unfortunately couldn't get there. Need them to somehow miss superior. I mean, if they had a ton in hands, I guess they can shuffle. Uh, Cause even Arvin isn't a top tech out. Yeah. This is not looking so good. I 
There's a superior. They'd have to conceal. So do they have another water in hand? Or do they have their last other water in hand? If they don't, we could KOC POW. Yeah. It is popping off, but yeah, this is. I mean, I'm glad we got punished for playing absolute garbage game two and game one. Even make it to game three felt um like a blessing. So that's not a Seahawks. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not like should have easily won the last game. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm assuming they, they, they have another energy in hands. Like, they would totally go for another SER if, it, if they were missing it. Let's see. Three, four. Only four? Not enough. It's not over. <laughs> it is not over yet. Arvin. Give me candy. Okay. Now, how do we best get ourselves back into this game? What is the pro what is the optimal getting back into game technique here? I've lost so much to all those Pokestop mills. Um, like we take this KO, but then what? What's the, uh, nah, this is the move. Friend tackle here, blustery, blustery. I into one blustery, blustery. All right. Let's do it. I'm kind of surprised they were short energies, but oof, we take it. To use that goldfish way more fun than a crab. Oh, the cypher goes pretty hard. Okay. I'm surprised they whiffed that KO last turn, because like if they do KO Wiggly Tough, like even if they don't set up second backs, I don't know how I'd punish it. I'm catcher KO Pidgeot. I mean it could be. We just top deck Iona. It's fine. Small fin. Oh, the amp for the game. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Nice. Well, we did what we could. Horrible starts. But really can't blame bad luck because it should have been a 2 0 dub for us, so. Uh. Yeah, it is, it is quite okay. <laughs> I definitely didn't play good enough to deserve a win, so it's like, it's fine. But the matchup feels okay. <laughs> like, even if I do choose second that game, because I got roasted for that, 
I am since Forest Sealstone's prize, it's Arvin for Pidgey Charm. And I still get beat by by bundles. So all you first uh going first haters. Dang. So close yet again. But yeah, better player one. But list is list is dope. Nah, Team Devo is not worth it for a CPOW. CPOW is like. Y'all watch that game, right? Like. Um. I had a. They were, they, they were playing about opportunities to win that game where we would not have needed a Team Devo. And Zard also is already a favorite matchup. So. Yeah, really cool deck. I really, really enjoy it. Like the thing that holds it back most is player. And tonight I wasn't on top of my game, but I'm I can blame being tired. I can blame being hungry and I can blame uh, streaming for like a combined 12 hours the last few days. I'll, I'll no, no, no excuses, but really cool deck. Going to keep working on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I appreciate y'all for hanging out. Uh, I mean, best viewer wise stream ever so if y'all keep showing up i'm gonna keep playing control so um i might be back tomorrow we'll see if, it, if there's, there's a tournament um sleep is for the week we'll just keep uh keep grinding these, these times I, I appreciate y'all for hanging out uh join the discord link below um subscribe if you're for some reason not subscribed like the stream so more people can uh, see it uh and yes i will see you again maybe not tomorrow but definitely on saturday for the tournament of doom regional and yeah i'll, I'll see you there have a good night bye